we talked about doing it because I get so many requests for you. It's fucking crazy. Right. Um, a lot of times it was at, in the beginning. It was just you, different people pretending to be you, saying, "Hey, let me do your podcast, faggot. I want to fight you." And I was like, "This guy's aggressive," right. and I appreciated it at first. Right. I don't. I never call people faggots. Why not? I call them morons. Okay. I call them gomers. Okay. You know, I I because I you think know, the word go- gomer. The word faggot is Gomer sounds. Yeah, Gomer, it's, it's Gomer is much more Gomer insulting. I don't know what Gomer means, but it seems like much more insulting than faggot. Is what it, is, is Gomer? It Gomer Pyle, like a, Gomer. a, a goofy guy who, who's not good at military surprise, activities? Surprise, surprise, surprise. Like that. It's Wait, pretty much the mentality of most of the people you, who respond to So that's to me what on it Twitter. means? It means Gomer Pyle? Right. It's a, it's a reference to Gomer. Gomer. Fuck yeah, dude. We, had, um, we compare Harrington to Gomer Pyle all the time, so he's a Gomer. Look, Gomer, an inept or stupid colleague, especially a trainee or a tranny. Okay. So you're, you're anti-trans. You're anti the trans movement. I'm anti-trainees. Okay, well. I'm okay. a Gomer sexual. Why don't you like podcasts? You What's the problem with like podcasts? Coming. It's it's just one of those things where I, I go on and it's just like one a one shot deal and then they they bring me on and then I get used to you I don't get, get used to my surroundings yeah, yeah pretty much yeah you're not doing well that's... I write see I write I write, I write for the same reason I don't like not... dating women yeah. <laughs> it's not the fault of the medium you know it's not the medium's fault see the, I I write for a podcast which I'll go ahead and plug when we do that appropriate segment and wait really minute, wait the, the only reason that you I write. For a podcast, wow. the only re- the I only reason that maybe I maybe this could be the audition for him to write for this podcast. I would you know love what? it. Great, the I'm only kind of a gomer, I got to be honest. With I you. thought you had writers, Lewis. I yeah. thought you had a room. I do. <laughs> They're all in his head. Yeah. It's true. But but uh, is there, the only reason I think I'm still on this podcast is because like, we haven't we kicked all... you off after four minutes. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, see ya. Wait, why? Why? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, the reason I'm still on is because. We, we all work from different cities. Like I work from Maryland. Can Matt, the guy who the runs rap? the show, Can we works turn the from. Rap off, please. No, he's a fucking killer. No, I understand that, but I mean, what do you have against something r- about the whole show? Is going to be hard. Is the whole hip-hop. show just going to have hip hop? Hard hip hop behind. Anytime Tom talks, but it takes away from him. What Fine. do you have against rap music? You yeah, we have against rap. Does black people do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the only thing. Yeah. I just want more whites. I agree. Eminem's the best at it, though. This is an Eminem song. So. Right. I'm and you hear, love M&M's. I want to hear it. I do. I do like an M&M. So I was actually Peanut trying Buttercup to is better, pay an but... homage to you, Tim <laughs> Dillon. I also recently learned the yeah. entirety of Rap God by M&M. Okay. Because I was supposed to challenge I just Justin Silver. I want to hear Tom without, you know. Hip-hop music behind without him? Without a super successful person. Let me background. see if he's as hardcore, though, without the hip-hop okay, music. Okay, that's true. I feel Let's like give it's it gonna, It's not as. It's so if you ever listen to like a fucking yeah. movie soundtrack without yeah. like the sound effects. Okay. And all, like, you're, crazy you're, we might need it. You're right. Tom, go. Who are you saying? I was saying that the reason I'm still on the podcast... Back. I <laughs> Put it back. I apologize. Put it back and turn it up. Turn it up. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go. No, don't really. All right, take it off, Shannon. Good. Uh, it's go like on. getting a lecture and there's like an MMA class right yeah. next door. So you're saying the people on the internet, you call them gomers. Right. Well, only the, only the stupid ones, okay. which being the internet is... There's a lot of them. Of them. Do you, you deal with a lot of trolling, right? Um... I think part of it's my fault because I kind of invite it. Right. I think just because you... I think it's just my personality. My personality is that of a troll, and that it attracts. I think everyone's other a troll. I think if you've ever gone right. online and been like, "Oh, this week's episode of Game of Thrones sucks," it's the same shit. Somebody right. wrote that episode. You know, there's a fucking lighting guy. You're you're trashing his job, you know. So that's sort of everybody. So I understand what you're saying. Um, I want to look. We got to get into this. It's going to be a great show today. And we, we you know, obviously, um, you know, we have to respond to the 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 shots fired across the bow by Cumtown for the past two or three years. I don't even know. So, I don't really know. I'm not. Too I don't know familiar. what happened either. All yeah. I know is that I think they've uh, gone after our boy Tommy here, and I they've don't maligned him. I don't. I don't even like those guys. They've okay? maligned. Uh, him. They were supposed to be on Skankfest. They pulled out of Skankfest. Right. Fucking last minute. Almost well, they no have, they, have, they have a tour in Canada. They got a, a Canadian. That's yeah, fine. I'm but who fucking cares about Canada, right? Okay. It's sort of the worst country. Okay, Everyone pays. knows that. Okay. Donald Trump says so, so it has to be true. Fuck yeah, Tom. Hell yeah, dude. So um, we got to go. We got to figure out what happened there. And you got to okay. go back because this is your opportunity. This is going to be. Now, look, we are maybe one eighth the size of Cumtown in the real ass podcast. Right. This isn't Legion of Skanks. We're okay. actually 15 times the size of Cumtown if you include me and Zach. <laughs> that's actually true. Actually, you know. 
But we, this is the biggest platform you'll probably ever be on, Tom. So this is your opportunity to really fucking give it to him, and I like that. So we're going to get into that today on, uh, on the show. A lot of other things to talk about via uh, the news and social issues. Tim Dillon, yeah. my brother, is here. Yeah. How long are you in town for until you're out in L.A.? June for 1st. Done. You're done in two done. weeks. But I'll, I'll, have, I'll be back a lot. I know. You're going to do that shit. You're, you're going to be telling everyone in L.A., I got to go out to New York. Yeah. Gotta well, I got I to gotta get out of here. Yeah. You know, New York is a city for you know, um, the poor and the ugly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're no, going to be here for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Have you been to Baltimore? Well, no, Baltimore is a city for the damned. I mean, that's yeah, Baltimore, a, I believe it was on a list as one of the ugliest cities in the world. Tom, great you, crab and that's cakes. just, a, and that's great just, crab dip, crab cake. Tom, you're one of the most handsome great people heroin. I've ever seen from yeah. Baltimore. You're actually, yeah, Tom, you were the top 10% of yeah. people in Baltimore in terms of looks. Tom's a Baltimore nine, which is, that's Tom that, that's looks bad. like a twink. He looks like a make a wish kid who never died. <laughs> like a kid who just got hung older, on. What? He just hung on. Wasn't this kid supposed to be dead years ago? I yeah. donated $50 to his yeah. GoFundMe. He just somehow made it. Tim, did I tell you that I. This I is my make a wish when I was 15 to be on this podcast. Well, actually. thank you that's very much. I'm glad I'm we here. can actually do something for somebody yeah. at one point. Uh, there was a child uh, that I donated money to, and yeah. I felt bad. James. And, and then the, <laughs> the, the, the mom, this kid's dying of some disease, and yeah. the mom kept on emailing me, being like, uh, You hey. told me this. But then, what did you decide to do? Well, I ended up blocking her. Yeah, of course. Because I, I didn't told realize you to. that she, would, yeah. she, she didn't know. But then they started hitting me up through the actual thing, so now I just unsubscribed from it. Yeah. So now, if they figure out another way to hit me up, I'm going to be wishing death upon this child. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, I, I mean, at one point, I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not my problem. Much. You know? I've, I, I, I've strongly come out against GoFundMe. Yeah, you can't do it. You yeah. can't donate. And, and it's not like there's a way to find you or anything. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, let's get them plugs out of the way. Yeah. And we'll fucking, we're going to really crush this show today. Um, Tim Dillon, what do you have to plug, my friend? Laugh Boston this weekend. Um... Tim Dillon's going to hell podcast. Tim Dillon comedy dot com for live man. dates there. Uh, Mohegan Sun, Skank Fest, uh, American Comedy Co. in San Diego. Blah blah blah. Um, but just Tim Dillon's going to hell. Subscribe to that. Hanging like out in Joe Rogan's flotation tank. Yeah, the, the sensory deprivation tank. Hopefully going on a hike. Hopefully soon. Maybe. I'm gonna in six months. My goal in L.A. is to lose fifty pounds, have an audience, and no longer be funny. You, and that's what it's going to happen. Guaranteed. Nearly yeah. goddamn guaranteed. It's it. not all it's cracked up to be. I'll do me. it. Yeah. Uh, Tom Myers, what do you got to plug, my brother? Uh, my website, tommyers.us. T O M M Y E R S.us. Tommyers.us. My Instagram, YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, and Twitter links are all on there. You can also check out Politipod, which is a podcast I write and perform uh, a series of one liners and sketches. Uh, New, epi uh, new episode comes out next week. Uh, IPMNation.com slash live two. Wednesdays at nine. A lot of Eastern difficult time. URLs, Tom. You're all yeah. over the place. Yeah, the URLs are fucking crazy, doggy. What happened to TomMyers.com? Somebody else has that? What does that guy do? I think it's just uh, like a Japanese merchandise site or something. You should send people there. You should probably get involved with them. That's fucking great. They sound like they have a fucking they sound like they do. Great. They do have more hits than me, which is Guaranteed. sad. <laughs> Guaranteed. It is the saddest thing ever. Uh, Zach Miko, there we go. Look, TomMyers.com is for sale. Fourteen hundred eighty-five, Tom. All right. Or ninety-nine dollars a month. Ninety-nine dollars a month. You can own that right now, it's Tom. A bit high. Ninety-nine a month. Is ninety-nine a month. Ninety-nine a month. Great. It's not bad. So TomMyers.com. All I need is to raise one thousand four hundred and eighty-four dollars and fifty cents more. Go fund And I can me. buy that site. Go fund me, Tom. So you have fifty cents. You're saying, fuck yeah. Um, okay. So don't do math jokes for Zach. Little. No, dude, I can do math. Fuck off, dude. That was a fucking test. And Tom's testing me because he's a fucking alpha in the room, and I understand that. And it's all good. I like being tested. Test me anytime, math wise. Yeah, throw it out there, Tom. Got the show. If you want to throw me any Six math problems. Six times seven. <sighs> Thirty-six plus seven is forty-three. Forty? Is yes, it forty-three? You got I it. think it's forty-two. No, nope. you got it. Six times seven, I think, is forty-two. No, nope. he got it. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Maybe he is right. I don't know. I don't like math either. Thanks. I can't tell you if you're right. I'm just very confident. Um, Zach, what do you have to plug, my brother? Twitter and Instagram. Zach is not funny. And check out my other show here on the network, Zach and Miko's Midnight Spook Show, every Friday at midnight. Comics sitting down and bullshit and we watch a horror movie. Hell yeah. Uh, Louis J. Gomez and Louis J. Gomez, the last comedy special ever. Fucking DePaulo could have done it if he didn't go and fucking flip off M Mumia Mumbu Bajal. Well, he did it. I mean, he's he's getting a lot of he's getting a lot of views. Dude, whatever, man. I don't respect it, dude. You disrespect the Black Lives Matter activists. They demonetize. He didn't know. 
What are you going to do? <laughs> he, no he went too far. I say he went too far. Okay, so that's why you should buy Louis Chagomis. They Chay demonetized Gomes. You know who didn't go too far? You. you know who went just far enough? Yeah. Louis Chagomis. Gomez. Louis Chagomis Gomez presents Louis Chagomis.com. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. It's a good point. What am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, Skankfest is sold out. You can go to infinitecbd.com slash Skankfest to try to win tickets. That's the only way you can get tickets. Well, you know what? I'm going to give Tom Myers a pair of fucking Skankfest tickets. Well, he's coming, out. right? Isn't he? He's on yes. the... I need a napkin. I'm checking IDs at Skankfest. Tom, actually. would you do Skankfest? I, you, you, I saw you also submitted a good 13 or 14 times. Yeah. Uh, did you submit I'll, more than once? Yeah, he did submit like 14 or 15 times, maybe. I appreciate that. Well, only about 11 or 12. Did you really yeah. submit? Um, so wait a minute. You, do you just email again with this? It's with over this? and over again. Different videos. Different videos. Sometimes complimentary. Sometimes really? different email I, addresses. I respect for everybody, that. For everybody who uh, says it's me submitting for Skankfest, I give them uh, I give them a free CD. Oh. So, you know, I'm, oh, I'm good Oh, so you like have that. other people doing the work for you. You're like yeah. a joker. It's like people in clown I have, faces. I like this. Uh, I have minions. Okay. Very nice. So yeah, 14 or 15 submissions. So you really want to do Skankfest. Would you come and do it? Because now that Cumtown's not there, I feel like now we don't have to worry about the weird tension. You don't want to book people that have yeah, I don't want to see you and Adam Friedland fight. Yes. I don't want to see that. And I, know which, I, I know what to you're be thinking honest, right now, do Tom. I? You, don't, you don't want to see me cowering in a cor corner crying because if Adam Friedland's about Adam to beat Friedland me up? Adam Friedland makes you cower in a Tom, corner. Tom, I, I know what you're thinking right now. He's Who's just a Adam Friedland? Boy. He's one of the members of Cumtown. He okay. is. <laughs> He he's is. the female. He's the only female. On one of the very, members of what? He's very tiny. Come town. Yeah. Do you not say? You don't even acknowledge. Come. One down. of the members of what? He doesn't even acknowledge them. That's cool. That's that. That was that was bad. That was bad. That was, no, not that, not badass. That was just no. It's bad. bad. That was I like it. Like bad, like Michael Jackson. Like that song. <laughs> what, no, what like bad the, isn't an overtime. What is it's the an start overused. of this war, Tom? Take because I what don't happened? Really know. Why don't what what did Lewis is a peaceful man. Lewis doesn't really get involved in drama. I don't like drama. So I'm not into that. So why for us, it's like we don't all those. All those videos of him getting into fights are just Louis J. Gomez impersonators. Those they're people, those people events, were disrespecting and you, and actually, I got your back. His All of those MMA people. fight he did was choreographed. It was like a dance. It yeah. was pretty gay. I watched. I saw them. We're do trying it. to do like a new age, uh, right. West Side Story. Yeah, it was dance fighting. Yeah. So what happened with? What's the beginning of the the what's the, the genesis? Beef? The origin story. Uh, I think. Yeah, I, I see. I don't even know because I'm so I'm so selfish that I just focus on myself, and That's I good. honestly don't give a rat's ass about other podcasts or other performance. <laughs> but uh, there's got to be a beginning to this. What was the very first time where you were like Nick Mullen has it out for me? What was it? I don't necessarily think he has it out for me. Um, I. Recalled meeting him. God, this is years ago. We were both doing comedy in uh, in D.C. Um, at that time, I was Washington. Yeah, w Washington. Well, the Baltimore, Washington area. Got it. Um, the circuit. <laughs> yep. Which I think Baltimore and Washington together, I think, is dwarfed by the New York comedy scene. Yeah, I would, much, say, I would it's, actually, it's, I would agree yeah. with you <laughs> and say that New York. <laughs> It's dwarfed it's actually a bigger and more <laughs> vibrant scene than Baltimore. The greater it is Washington dwarfed, DC correct. Comedy. It is dwarfed by the Punxsutawney comedy scene. That's how small it is. Oh shit! Uh, Dropping truth bombs. Okay, so so you and Nick, Minus the truth. You and Nick are both killers on the scene, coming up, getting some. Well, attention. I was already a, I was already a touring road comic. At you the were time. already out there, so Nick was a young buck coming up. You were already fucking headlining, crushing it, doing your thing. Oh, and Nick yeah. comes up and HBO, BET, Showtime, all that good stuff. Were you touring? Was it regional or was it like were you all over? What was where were you touring? Um, up and down the East Coast at that okay. time. I think I'd already performed in like a dozen states okay. at that point. Okay, so yeah, I was I was getting not regular work, but you know, just enough that you know, I was able to be a, a reasonably established uh, comic at that okay. point. So he, you're established. Here comes Nick Mullen. Lazy, right? right? What are your first impressions of him? Give me some first impressions. Uh, pretty much my... getting by on his looks. Yeah. Now that's funny. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no. Um... First thing you see, you see this guy come in. You know, is he Jack Diesel at the time? Because he's all fucking Jack now, doggy. Does that intimidate you? It does, right? No, it's just, I just, nobody in the DC comedy community at that time really thought he was anything, anything good at that time. And oh, they still don't. shit! They wow. still don't. They he still literally don't. only has. Oh, they still shit! don't. They still don't. Wow. 
like there are probably still like there are more are any of them there are, are more people curious about there like, are more, the 80 grand a month he makes <laughs> there, there are more that? there are more people in the in the studio of come town than there are dc comics who like nick mullen oh so, so that's three so oh like, shit so wow. you're saying in D.C. he's known as a fucking right. piece of shit. I think he was in Austin, Texas for a little bit. Okay, and we know. I think even he got run out. Even he got... And Austin's a pretty chill, pretty laid back city. Wow. I mean, you have to be a big douchebag if even the people of Austin say, fuck off. Yeah. Wow. So he was run out of D.C. and then Austin. Right. He gets run out of D.C. Then he went and to Austin. And then his punishment was right. to live in New York, this hell. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if, if Nick DiPaolo says New York's hell, then it has to be hell. I don't think Nick means that. Yeah. No. Nick DiPaolo. I think he's... He's just kidding. I think he's just joking. So, okay. So I you're think flipping, like... flipping off Black Lives Matter people, talking about how New York is a hell, it's all an act. Yeah. yeah. So you, you see this kid, Nick Mullen, you're a fucking... You're, you're an established almost, road you're guy. You're established. You, and you have this young guy, and you're like, do you guys... Or do you take on a mentorship role? Do you see him as like a little brother? Because nobody else any? likes Not it. Really. People are probably never... in your ear being like, you don't even hang out with this guy. This so guy's a scrub. You, there's nothing about him. You, you, don't, you don't ever look at his uh, act and say, let me help you. Let me give you a tag. Let me. No, like, like, a, like any typical comic, I am selfish and only think of myself. So okay. That's, well, in New York, there is problem, people yeah. try to help each other. People try to mentor each other. Yeah, but okay. that's why you're leaving. Those are losers, Tim. I agree. Yeah, you don't want to fucking. That's why. That's why I haven't left Maryland. But that's I mean why. this: if anybody comes up to me and they want to help me, yeah, I don't believe it. Okay, this there's the, oh, this whole concept of of being a good. I've person. tried to offer Adam Friedland help a lot. I've said, come to my apartment right at night. Yeah, right late at night. Go let's to sleep. Do, let's do exercises together yeah. to get nice, all of dude. it. And do I do Pilates and, again. Nothing. So you know, would probably get, get Adam Friedland. Yeah, if you fucked Tom Myers in the guest digital bathroom, it would probably make him. That's the ultimate alpha move. If you want to fucking that is an al- Let me tell you right now, an alpha move is to have sex with me in the gas digital bathroom to make Adam Friedland jealous. How fucking funny would that be? You got to buy me a drink first before you do that. <laughs> you and, and I and I'm a recovering alcoholic, so oh boy, okay, ain't no way that's happening. Oh, you're a recovering alcoholic? Yep, seven you're... and a half years. Seven and a half years. I tried to get you high before the show, and I asked you, I was like, "Do you smoke?" And what was your response to me? I you said I, I smoke a cigar once or twice a year. Okay, right. To celebrate. <laughs> celebration. What is that? Was that uh, is that the Stavros laugh? Is that the Stavros laugh? Come on. Come on. Come on now. So No, I but Nick... I quit I quit smoking when I was twenty two, quit drinking when I was twenty eight. Congrats. And how old are you now? Fifty? Uh seventy two. <laughs> Healthy. Uh, uh thirty six. So do you okay. and Nick ever have any kind of friendship? Not really, no. Okay. You don't know this guy. You're just you're I mean, I I know him. In fact, the I recorded a CD in Maryland years ago. <laughs> what was And what he was, was that on the uh that was you know, I don't remember. Like I think I've actually I've actually blocked it out of my mind. You don't remember, you don't remember the, name <laughs> of the album. album. I think it was. Uh, you don't want people to find it. That's what it is. That's right. okay. It's, it's I've sold enough copies. I've You're... done a lot of things. I'm ashamed of Sesame Street. I'm kidding. I'm not ashamed. It's on he YouTube. It. <laughs> it's on YouTube. I produced a poke with Snuffle Up. What um with, so, and Megan McCain and Megan McCain. Yeah, I know. He, that's killing it. it is um, so, but I'm I'm recording this CD, and Nick Mullen is one of the comics uh, on the bill. Words of mass destruction. Um, was that it? not that one? It okay. was uh, pitchforks, torches, and other. At least you use a really high quality the... photo Wait a for that. Right, for that. pitchforks, torches. Hold on, what pitchforks, torches, and other random thoughts. Is pitchforks, the name of the... torches, and other random thoughts. Right, okay. wild. Okay, I like it. All right, so you record the CD. I record the CD, and Nick Mullen is one of the comics on the bill for the show. Okay, All right, so he's opening up for you. This guy is an o- your opener. No. He's one of the he's one of the comics who well, you're goes closing up the show. He's, so he's you, one you of the comics who goes him, up. So you had no problem with him being on the show. I mean, it's your it's your album recording. Well, it wasn't the show wasn't booked by me. Gotcha. It, it wasn't arranged gotcha. by me. It was arranged right. by someone else. So I just went ahead and performed. And was it recorded. DC? You're doing this in Maryland? Uh, in Maryland. And you're doing an hour, and everyone else is doing like showcase sets. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, so Nick was your opener for all intents and purposes. Mm, Nick's your opener. One of them. Nice, nice dude. dude. So Nick, okay. So it, 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 were you DJ? Were you not a fan of a set, or were you like it's okay? Well, he comes up to me. You had to play. You had you had He comes up to me during uh, as I'm getting ready to do my set because you've recorded a special and you're doing whatever you got to do to go ahead and make sure the set comes out right. You I mean, I would have never. Head. I would have never let somebody with a reputation 
like Nick Mullen at the time, open up for me. He's yeah. been run out of Austin. Louis Farrakhan opened for Louis. He just wanted to. He just wanted to. I had the crying had Nazi. Kill. The yeah. crying Nazi did a tight fifteen. He had a better fifteen than Nick Mullen, the crying Nazi. Yeah. Man. He's up. He's Shots up. Shots fired. Shots fucking fired. So Tommy, he opens up for you. What happens? Take us back here. He. Has, what venue is it in? We're all trying to picture this. Uh, it the venue is called uh, Sean Boland's. It's uh, an Irish pub. They do they do live shows there. Uh, Every once in a while, sounds and magical. it was <laughs> sounds a bit like the best place of recording. Robin correct. Williams did an album. Sounds like a fun. <laughs> <laughs> you go there, you get drunk, and I, I Bolins? sound Bolins? funny. Sean Boland, live at Sean Boland. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm embracing my Irish ancestry. Nothing by doing wrong that, with so. that. Yeah, go see the ferryman. DC Nine or, uh, Baltimore. It's in uh, it's in uh, Bel Air, Maryland, not too far from where uh, Bel Air, Maryland. Bel Air, Maryland. Sean Boland's in Bel Air, Maryland. Bel Air, Maryland. It's okay. produ- it's produced yeah. some uh, it's produced some great. I love folks. that Maryland just steals the name of other nicer places. Like come down to Malibu, Maryland. <laughs> yes, Bel Air, Maryland. <laughs> there's a town. Like, there's no <laughs> Bel Air, Maryland. <laughs> Not on fire in three weeks. Nightmare. There's a California, Maryland. Also, I'm sure it's in there the is. Part of the state. And Fucking it's, shysters. It's also, Maryland's a bunch of shady motherfuckers. Takes, yeah. I appreciate it though. I, appreciate I give it a little too. bit of respect. Yeah. It's also a shithole. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, so you're at Sean Bowen's this packed out fucking place. And Nick comes up to me and says and asks if he he wants to get a drink and asks if I can put it on my comics tab. And this is what year? 2013, I think. Okay. So this is I think he had just come six, back from Austin. Six or years yeah. ago, just come back from Austin. He's right. like, hey, can I get a drink? Can you buy me a drink. Right. Essentially, and, buy me a drink. Right. And I essentially and tell you're like, him, I'm not a fag. I essentially First thing tell you him, said was I'm not a fag, so I'm not buying another man a drink, right? It's it's like you're in the room. I know. Louis. It's like I you're in the room. On you head, know what? Yeah, we're yeah. the same guy. I get it. Mm-hmm. So what so happens? I tell him, you know, I basically tell him no, and I, there I don't have a comics tab, just because it's not exactly like Sean Bolins isn't exactly a high class. <laughs> it's not a high wait class a joint. It's not Hold a real comic. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Bel Air. Are Maryland. you telling me that Sean Bolins? <laughs> yeah. Imagine Bel-Air, that. Maryland, is not exactly, oh, in your words, no. a high classist album. Oh, event. fuck no. I mean, look at Why that. Why did you decide to record an album at Sean Boland's? Ambiance. <laughs> Ambiance, just <laughs> despair, lost hopes and dreams. Uh, Nobody ever goes there, has anything was, to celebrate. What was the idea? Because you're established at this point. You're like, is it almost like the way that Dice did his album? That like, uh, it was like an empty danger field. Yeah, that's exactly what it was is. that what it was it's going exactly on? exactly the way Dice did it. Are you a character? You're not like, are you not this badass of a dude that's like a character? But are you like really a, like a nerd on the inside and then you fucking are pretending to be this fucking hardcore no, I'm motherfucker? Just, I'm, I'm just a person where I just, I just hate people in general. Okay, I like So, that. of course, uh, I, I have the, I, of course, so of course I do, a, I have a job where I, I talk in front of groups of people. So, that's, what is that? What, what do you do? <laughs> Don't you get a drop for that? Don't you get your no? No, oh. we just that's our good. job. It was too good. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't pour out things. Um, so, so you, is this where it started? Nick says, "Buy me a drink." You said, "I don't have a comic." I don't have a comic. I don't have a I don't start. I don't have a comic. How about you blow? You just pull this dick out. He's like, "You know what to do." This isn't the DC Improv, right? No, it's not. This is Sean Bolin. So you pull out your cock. You're like, start sucking, bitch, and he. What Again, does he do? Does he suck like it? You, it's like you were in the room. Now, would you? Really and he do? just he just goes he goes off on me and says, "Yes, you do. You have a comics tab." And he just literally starts cursing me out. And now let's be honest. This room, is just yeah. between us. Did you have a comics tab? Be, and be honest. No, I didn't. really. I did not. Sean, Stevie Vera, stop recording for a second. Sean, can we call I, Sean Bolin? <laughs> stop recording for a second. <laughs> we're, we're not recording right now. Yeah. Did you have a comics tab? No. All right, start recording again. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. So he starts yelling at you, and at this point, what do you do? Do you do you have him ejected? You're the fucking you're the headliner. I if my opener, I basically, I basically my opener starts screaming in my face. Right. Okay. I would say, hey, you. My have opener to go. is fiending for some booze. Yeah. Obviously, on right. fucking blow. Right. Do I uh, coked out of his fucking mind? So steroids, likely. Yeah. That's someone that his mom probably bought for him. Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> where would she know how to get steroids, though? Let's be honest. Moms don't know where to get steroids. Yeah, I think he just works out. I don't think he does, but I don't know. You brought his mom into it too. That's fucking. You don't like That's this wild. guy. That's some- 
some crazy shit. Right I there. don't do steroids. I want to clear that up yeah. because I am accused of all manner. Wait, wait till the HIV really takes over. You're going to need them. Yeah, I have defeated the HIV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> the doctors will be like, the HIV has uh, left the body. So, Tom, we're at Sean Boland's. We're in Bel Air, Maryland. Nick Mullen has asked you to buy him a drink. It's six you years have declined, ago. As is your And this right. is also six years ago. This is before Nick Mullen this really had anything going on. 2013. Nothing got, going on. He's a, he's a young guy. He looks so up yesterday. to you. He looks up to you, maybe. He says you're, Likely looks up to you. You're likely, a fucking you're you're the, you're the local an album guy. At Sean Boland's. At that point, you say no, and you guys get into an argument, and is that it? Does he leave? Is that how you leave it? I literally tell him to fuck off, because like I said, you've recorded a special of course. before, and you want to you wanna focus, you want to make sure everything is going right. Of course. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't, I don't can't need deal this with bullshit. The drama. I don't need this bullshit. You don't need it. You just want to go up there. How long are you doing? 45. I think it was, well, I mean, there's, there's, there's a Yankees with, game on right. at the bar. There's, there's three other bar fights. <laughs> yeah, you got to deal with fucking it's all you can wings from 7 to 8 p.m. Right. Yeah. You were probably arguing working with the there, lighting too. <laughs> so you got to do a special. You're also bar back. It's very difficult. I'm trying to, to do like 15 different jobs done. here. Yeah, of course. Uh, How did the set go? Uh, went great. Great. Go but ahead. was Nick gone? Did you kick him out or you said fuck off and then he just watched and crossed his arms? And, and, and pouted. And pouted. Yeah. Wow. And this is where the seed was planted. In this moment. This is where the seed was planted. This is the origin story. This is the Marvel movie. This is where Nick Mullen, you... He has it out for you. you, This is like, you know, Batman's parents being killed. You killed Nick Mullen's parents, proverbially. Proverbially. You said it right. You said it right. I got it. You You got it, it, yeah. It took a lot of energy. Like, I I feel weak. You are are a lot smarter than me. Thank you. You, I appreciate that. You're better at math than me. You are better at speaking than me. Motherfucker, don't you? Real ass dude of the week. Fucking Tom Myers. Give it to him. Fuck it. What am I going to do? He's good. Yeah. He's a real ass dude. He's got bad attitude. He recorded his album with Sean Bullens in Bel Air, Maryland. None of that's true. I, you're you're smarter than me. You're funnier than me. You're stronger than me. But you will say that to me because that's what that's some real alpha shit. Yeah, you'll just fucking say it. So he doesn't have anything to prove. Nothing to prove. It's a shark amongst. Copies. I just don't have anything. I'm, so that, I'll be did you ever you. see him again after that moment, or was it just that was it? So did you like see him? Like did you see him in the scene? I guess you would no. see if you bump into each other. No. So that's never it. So you never, never again. saw him again. Well, he's he's up in New York, and Correct. I'm and I'm and I'm in Baltimore. Right. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, you're you're everywhere. You're headlining. You know, you're on the road. I'm on. I'm on the road. Look, it's two different <laughs> lifestyles. You could be a fucking road dog road. like Tommy, right. or you could be a fucking New but, York uh, not, open micer. Whatever. Like the Come Town Boys. You know? I'm not. I'm not headlining. You're not headlining. No. What happened? You just said you take it. Take a back seat. Let the young bucks get a little bit of the meat. I'm actually. Believe it or not, I'm actually not. I'm not really traveling or performing live or doing anything like that at the moment. I'm focusing on uh, the, the podcast. podcast. I'm focusing on Politipod because politics is where it's at right now. Everybody is making a lot of money. We don't talk politics, politics on the show. We don't really talk politics. And this is not an invitation to start. No, here's the problem, though. Can I tell you? Yeah. We, we do a segment on the show where where I give him the show for a minute. We treat it like his, his show. Oh, okay. But we don't talk politics. We have to be the guests. But we'll, we'll figure that out. Now, how long have you been doing the Politipod? Uh, the first episode went out in January of 2016. So okay. just in time for uh, just in so time exactly for the election. So exactly 37 months after Nick Mullen fucking got into your head psyche 36 and a half do you give think or take. Who, again you are great at you are great at who math and won figuring out. that exchange because you said suck my dick he said what the fuck do you because i hear it and i think that nick looks bad there nick's asking for a free drink then getting mad that you're not just buying him a drink and you say yeah, dude suck my dick you're opening for me right now i'm headlining my my album taping i feel like nick looks bad here well he's a new he's in new york now doing all sorts of big thing and so he's are you doing a football thing there what was that that was like a Southern Baptist when you testify. Okay. He's, he's, in, he's Hitler in New twice. York now. Come down to the other day. He was double Hiling Hitler. Wait a minute. He just did the, the, the one cancels out the other. The one Hiling Hitler cancels out the other. Tom, you did a black sound. There's only one reason they put their hands up like Tom, that. Tom, this is a woke show, and you just did a black sound. So I don't know. Yeah. It's not cool, Tom. Not cool. But all right, so what? Right, so what you do your album. He I'd, say, I'd, say, I'd, I'd say it ended up being a draw. It was a draw there, okay? Yeah. But yeah. Nick Mullen obviously harbors resentment because years later he goes on a podcast. What's the next moment that you heard about Nick Mullen or that you were drawn to Nick Mullen's life? Was it the podcast? He started talking shit on you? What was that? Probably. Again, that that. he's not... in the On the list of things that I worry about, <clears throat> he's probably like below 
like um, below the trash service that I pick out, like below the trash service. Oh shit! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you worry? Why do you worry about the trash service? And why I don't. Do you, why do you have private? You have private trash collection. But how does this work? You have private trash collection. This nigga's fucking crushing it. It's crazy. I gonna use. The That's computer. the name of his next album. He's doing it. Sean Paulins. This Tom Myers. This nigga's crushing. This nigga's crushing it. Nigga's crushing it. When, when, they, when they, I think they joke around maybe about you. Is it? Do you ever say to yourself, "We're comics"? People, people say bad things about me all the time right. that aren't true. People say that I'm loud, that I'm fat. Um, there's all kinds of lies out there. Can, Tom, can you do me for something moving away from Tim slowly? I see yeah. you're, he's making you uncomfortable. <laughs> Just you're, um, He's going out of frame slowly. Are, are you watching this? Excuse me. But do, do you ever just go, it's probably just people having fun and maybe it's not, you know. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I've never, I, I just don't really think about it that often. Interesting. I don't, okay. that, that doesn't really concern me. Some of their criticisms, I think, are the names of the things. Like one of the albums you have is called Make America Innate Again. Right. Now that name, and, right. and this is, and I've never heard the album, it could be very funny, but the name, and we can all agree, is retarded. Like the name Make America Innate Again is just a, it's an unfortunately named thing. Well, it's, it's a comedy CD, I've, so it's not supposed to be something serious, though. No, of course. Now, I, I've done things I regret, a lot of them. And I've named, but the name is a little, the name itself is just a little, like if you look back at that, would you have named it something else? Because just the name itself, it Let's doesn't name roll, it. it doesn't roll off the it tongue. It also doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I mean? On iTunes, you, this yeah. is really true, you can rename the album right I, just it, it doesn't like roll that. off the tongue. Make America innate again. It's an odd. It's an odd coupling of words. And yeah, so well, the the original name of the album. What was, about something that rhymes with that? Like maybe on, make America see. great again, something like that. Right, right. That would work. Right. I that don't think be... that's been used. Right. Yeah. Again, you are so you you are so much smarter than me. I'm really good. You are. You do are you so not? Are you being sarcastic? Do you, you not that? like President Trump? I am Trump? absolutely not being sarcastic, Lewis. Don't you think He's audiences want us to support the president? Well, here's the thing: the uh, original name of the album was supposed to be this "Sit nigga's Down." It. <laughs> <laughs> it was that, and then the uh, another name was supposed to be uh, "Sit Down and Shut Up, You Morons." But some that's people, hostile. Some people thought that was a bit harsh. Now, you know, telling name, some, telling someone to sit down. I mean, it's also the much. only way you can get people to pay attention. To the name of the album was "Sit Down and Shut Up, You Morons," and then you said, "Let's scrap that yeah. and go with Make because, America Innate Again." Because telling someone to sit down, I feel, yeah. is crossing some kind of get well, in the gas chamber, kikes. Here's a question: <laughs> What's well, are they album. already sitting if they're at the show? That's true. Well, not it's a bar show. <laughs> So at, they only have a what's dozen. What's it called, seats. Sean? I just Sean, put it out of my name. What's Sean Bowman's. Sean Bowens. Bowens. Well, the Make America Innate Again though was recorded at the. Uh, what does that Haverty mean? Grace. Tell us what it means. It was recorded at the Haverty Grace Opera House. Oh, okay. Okay. So I stepped up a little bit from the Irish. Well, that's pub. very good. Okay, so that's a little bit better. How many seats are in there? Uh, a lot more than at Sean Bowens. Okay. Yeah. So was the seats. crowd? Was the crowd better, or were they a little stuffy? It seems like maybe they're a little stuffy. The Opera House. No, I mean, okay. the, the, the crowd was good. You know, the audio quality came out great, and people seemed to love it. How Otherwise, many albums do keep, you have? They You're prolific. You have, like, a lot of albums. I, I have uh, four. That's okay. One lot. of them, uh, the first one, uh, was a mixture of live and studio stuff. This is from clips from my old college radio show. The second one, uh, the Pitchforks one, was all live. The third one was clips from a... Uh, podcast i did you okay, can't so do that you can't then, oh, live in podcasts Tom. into your fucking Tom. albums Tom. yeah sure i have fucking yeah. 800 albums Tom, we did i can albums last week. <laughs> i can because you gave me the real ass dude drops so, so that's true. i can but this is interesting but you you're so or every, did i just get it taken away now but i think yeah, when most people think want. of <laughs> albums they think of stand-up comedy performed in front of an audience, but you've mixed them in. You say with, you don't care. You're like, fuck it, dude. It's now, almost like. Are these live podcast clips or just clips from a podcast? They're uh, clips from a podcast that I. Uh, not that in I did front of an audience. Comic. But Correct. do you think it takes? Do you think it takes people out of the album if it's like joke laughing, joke laughing, and then now this guy's just talking in a room? Well, no, because this the third one that I did was. They sound surprisingly similar, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, yes, with the fifteen people who are in the Irish pub. Right. Fifteen people who were in the Irish pub and nobody in a uh, in a podcast. Were any of them prepared? Similar. Did any of them come for the album taping, or were they just drunk? They came for opera. Not it's, happy. They came for opera, and it's you walked Mar out. It's Maryland, so they just wandered in drunk, and yeah. I think so. so we we really, we really don't have anything to celebrate. What's the there? format of the fourth album? 
It was uh, Make America Nate Again. That was the live. That was the live uh, show at the Opera House. Okay. I taped and performed. Yeah. Did you film it? Was it a special as well, or it's just an audio recording? Okay. I don't because I don't have the. I, I don't want to do the uh, the film stuff like the releasing it as a as a special. Your forehead. Uh, yeah, because it, it would take the forehead would take so up the entire. You have, have one of those like those How swiping long, camera you, shots you, you with a comedy, helicopter. You've been doing comedy while you're like a vet. Yeah, um, eighteen years. Okay, that's awesome. You got a bunch of albums, and you know, I mean, this is a this is a. When did you start? Stanley? You started when you were eighteen years old. Yes. Wow. Uh, I started. Uh, I what got year into was it. That? What year was that? Two thousand one. Oh, this is a different time. So you started during nine eleven. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what happened. The, the, the people flying the planes were flying away from Maryland. Yeah, like, I gotta get out of here. Hold on. Wait a minute. So did that inspire? Did nine eleven inspire you to start? Absolutely. Okay. It just gave it just gave me the hope and despair and said, "Well, this happened. I can't do anything successful with my life, so yeah. I'll just go ahead and you're like do life, this. you're like I felt oddly. It, it was it was a life affirming I moment. I was like, for me. I'm three thousand productive people just. Got taken out of the equation. Yeah. Put me in the game, coach. But you didn't feel like that. You, were you literally, I mean, in life, everyone. If you want to look at the silver lining in nine eleven, is we all moved up three hundred spaces moved up. in life. I, I know that from Luis Gomez. That's the way we it's think. It's true. About we Absolutely. moved up three hundred, three thousand spaces yeah. in life. The opportunity. Um, it's awful. That's what my parents said to me. They sat me down at the table and they go, "Listen, you just moved up." They're like, "This is not good." The, no matter what way you measure it, you moved up. So when you real when, estate opportunities went up in that area too, I hear it's very true. But in the immediate aftermath, I I don't know. But so you start <laughs> know, dry cleaning. Yes, took a while, but that a lot of people had suits. Right, they were selling vacuum cleaners like a motherfucker. What, what downtown. drove you to come? Why did you why did you love comedy? What did it? If what, you were what, a vacuum cleaner salesman, yeah. September twelfth, Lower Manhattan, crazy. right? Wowza, you crushed it that what, week. What you, drove, you retired that day? Yeah. yeah. What drove you into comedy? What did you love about? Like, what was it? I just love the attention grabbing aspect of it. Yeah. And you mean just going into a room where people kind of have to listen to you. Exactly. Yeah, they're kind of trapped. Like a hostage situation for them. Were you always I love were it. you always the funniest person of your friends? Not really, no. Right. That's a that's a weird thing. Where are the other friends now? Where are they? Oh, they are probably making much more money than me right now. Doing comedy. <laughs> 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 Uh, do you, you haven't kept in touch with any of them? Um, through social who, media. Who was your funniest media, friend growing up? Out of all the kids you knew. Honestly, I don't, I don't remember. You don't remember. I you see. didn't hang out with funny people. Honestly, I blocked out a lot of stuff before this show what because I needed, I needed to, I needed to mentally, Were you raped at one point? I needed to why mentally prepare. Things? I need, I needed on? to mentally prepare for this show. So that's why I went ahead and blocked everything out. So when when you started doing comedy, did you start being? Did you experience success right away? Did it take a while? What was like the journey? Uh, started performing at uh, coffee houses uh, where I went to school. Okay, which and, school? Uh, Goucher College. Where is it that? is a little bit north of uh, of Balmer. Goucher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you started doing coffee house circuits. It's also there. what you do to your your ears when you hear Tom's comedy. Goucher. Goucher your ears out. Goucher. My name's not Nick Mullen. <laughs> That's right. So, Don't fuck with me, Tom. I remember that comment from the beginning of the show. I'm here. At Goucher College. I know you're fucking that's well when prepared. you learned the, the craft. Yeah. It was that that era? Yeah. Pretty and, much. Yeah. And then when when did you start taking it seriously? Um, When I do, I'll let you know. Okay. Nice, this is dude. A fucking, this is a whole. It's a game for Tom. He doesn't give a shit. This he's right. not playing the same bullshit game that we are. Right. Okay. He's just living life. He's living life out there. I I I envy this man. Yeah. He's free. There's a real freedom. To you're that. Make, are you, so you're not making a lot of money though. Um, I'm at the point now where I really don't need to perform. I'm involved in a lot of uh, other stuff right now. Day so. <laughs> Human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> <Pretty different. laughs> I'm involved in a lot children. of other, you know, I uh, got a couple mind it's to It's the fight. shadiest <laughs> answer I've ever heard. He's like, I'm involved in a lot of things. Managing a Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> Deep in the game, motherfucker. <laughs> Involved in a lot of things, making sure yeah. Southwestern egg rolls hit the table. <laughs> Fuck yeah. At an appropriate oh, yeah, time, yeah. you know, keeping the line cooks going, you Fuck know, put yeah. that queso in the bowl, boys. <laughs> I don't need to be in a mic tonight. I don't need to be in show business. Um, what are you doing to make money? Are you, do you have a day job? Is that what it is? 
I am an assistant manager of a restaurant, and on the weekends, I also do public did address I, announcing. Did I nail you it? called it. You called it. Is was it, it Chili's? Chili's? I love Chili's. It's not Chili's. Is it, okay. is what it a is chain? It? It's, it's a real Mexican restaurant. Okay. Taco Bell. But, how, not, but no. literally, how close was I? <laughs> Uh, I said you, you yelled about queso. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. I have a little ESP. My mother always said If that. you came out at my Mexican restaurant, I would ask for a refund immediately. I'm like, what do the you, fuck does this guy know about Mexican Is it Mexican fair, food? do you think? And honestly, too, because you're, a, I, you're I on can the speak. left. You're a liberal guy. Right. Is it fair that a white guy is managing a Mexican restaurant with all the Mexicans that could be doing that job? What's, I'll, what's I'll be you? honest. They just they needed my signature They're for rapists. the... For I, the understand. Liquor license. I understand. So, no, you yeah. heard it here first. Tom thinks that Mexicans are. Is racist. it a good? Is it a good Mexican restaurant? Is it authentic? Oh yes. Okay. If me and Luis Gomez go in there, a little discount. Luis J. Gomez. Luis J. Gomez. Would you hook discount? us up with free lunch? Do you have the power to hook us up with free lunch? Do you have the power to hook up Nick Mullen with a free drink at your restaurant? No. Wow. I'm consistent. You wouldn't. I but am you consistent. could if you wanted so to. Twenty years. Twenty years. You could if you wanted to. Listen, there's nothing wrong with managing a restaurant. It's it's honest work. It's better than most comics, you know? It's honest, good work, you know? That's not a problem. Right. Are and you trying to build the Politipod? When did you get so into politics? Give us, a, give us a, an example of Politipod. Like, let's pretend we're on the show right now. Yeah, we're on Me, Politipod. Me, Tim Dillon, Zach and Miko, we're the guests on Politipod. Usually what we do on this show, this is a segment that I have. Um, yeah. I shouldn't say usually because it's the first time I it's had called the It's called Honoring the President. We give the guest a minute to honor the our President Donald Trump. Yeah. It's called Name the Problems with Chicago. <laughs> Go. Well, it's it's not that kind of podcast. So it's, it's uh, one it's, we do one liners no, no, and on, let sketches. Me tell you. Okay, so look, this we're going to give him the show for a minute. We're going to give him the show. You're getting the show yeah, getting for the an show. uninterrupted uh, uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Seconds. We're on Politipod. Well, but what, usually what we do is we play the intro for the show, but uh, there's no intro for Politipod. Right? No, there is. If you go to uh, go to, she said uh, she checked like six different episodes, and it's all different intros. That is correct. Really? So let's play I one of them. the most recent like, four. No. Let's just play one of them. Just yeah. play an intro. The most recent something. Is, uh, you know, yeah. I'll play just any intro. How about that? <laughs> Welcome to Politipod. That's the whole uh, intro. All right. <laughs> now you go. Now it's yours. That was a Shannon Kim, by the way, Tom. You see that? I see that. You know yes. what that is? It's very creative. Do you know what that is? Very creative. Those are breasts. It's a camera. Those are breasts right. falling down when we anytime we show Shannon. Nice, dude. She looks so Yeah, they need thrilled. to be replaced. <laughs> she looks no, also thrilled. look a little bit of cleavage today, so my tip jar. Oh yeah, let me see that tip jar. I am gonna put some money in it. I see that fucking cleavage, Shannon. You get rewarded every time. <laughs> look. Tom, Dang. this is progressive. It doesn't feel like it is, but it is progressive. I'm giving I her tell you money. What, it's women. It's, women, it's l very liberating. I'm I enjoy it. You're being very. Rights. You're being very open minded. Shannon, come here. Get your tit jar in here. Come on, baby. The come best on, part baby. of that this shake. from my end was I watched him pull out a twenty and go fuck no and no, stuff it back. That, in they, that, they ain't showing a fucking. <laughs> she ain't showing that much cleavage. For a twenty, I'm putting him in between her boobs with my teeth. There we go, right there in the tit jar. Come on, guys, put it in the tit jar. Look at those fucking honkaroonies. Hell yeah, dude. Shannon, do a little fucking dance for us. Come on. Shannon, this is not this is not sexual harassment. That is literally just being complimentary and giving you money. You know she dressed you. like this because Tom was in today. Of course she did. She's throwing it out there. Shannon, would you fuck Tom? Um, he's you don't have a height requirement. That's he's the only too reason. Tall. Yeah, that's it. He's just, if you were a little shorter, he's I'd be too in. tall. I get He's it. too big. Yeah. How tall are you? 6'5", six, 6'6"? Six, six? What is that? Uh, about 6'3". Six, okay. Six, Nick three. Mullen, you know, Nick Mullen's very short. He's not, the, he's, he's not that not tall. tall. Does that make you feel better that you're so tall and he's so fucking petite? Oh, fuck yeah. I know. <laughs> so, we, we're on Politipod. You're, you take over right now. Give me 120 seconds on the clock. We're guests today on your show. Joining us in studio, we have the one, the only, the uncompromising, Louis J. Gomez. Louis, welcome to Politipod. Hey, thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate being here. Uh, thank God there's no black people here. So, uh, judging by that comment, I would presume that you are uh, smart, somewhat, not exactly right, to the left, not exactly to the left with of reality. You would say you are not exactly to the le on the left end of the political spectrum. How would you describe your politics? I don't believe in politics, Tom. It's all a figment of your imagination. So you would say if you were to join a political party, you would be in the nihilist party, the American nihilist party. If I joined a political party, it would turn into a fucking party. Am I right, people? Am I right? 
Q, uh, audience cheering. Would there be audience like cheering? Yeah, there there would be. There would be. We, we have a sound effect. There we go. That is exactly the kind of sound effect. I have. made it a real political party. Everyone's doing coke. We're fucking fingering young girls that are passed out. So, Lewis, are you planning to announce your candidacy for presidency of this uh, new party in 2020? Are you going to run for president of the American Nihilist Party? Yes, I am, Tom. Well, this is a big Politipod exclusive. And so... Do you really talk like that on the show? No, Do you go, Politipod exclusive? He's joking right now. He's, 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 he's doing he's, the, the absolute worst thing possible to be as a bit. I understand that. Right. It's fucking hilarious. I get it. I'm with it. Because if I had heard, if that was a podcast There's and not. I was in my car and I was listening to that, I would crash my car into something. Yeah. Just because it's too formulaic. You know? <laughs> right. It's talk, too formulaic. It's, it's talk radio. It's too, what do you expect? Too high a production. It's too, it, I want a little, you got to dumb it down. I, want, I need it to be raw. It needs to feel <laughs> authentic and real. And you felt very stilted and scripted. Kind of like Hillary Clinton, which is maybe why she lost. Oh, shit. Here we go. We're getting political. Absolutely. Oh, oh, straight away. Um, come the, here comes the anti-woman thing from James. Whoa. I don't know who that is. Who's James? Who's James? James Corden? Isn't that who you are? Oh, um, I wish. That is good, though. He's British. We're both chubby. Oh, I got it. I see. Oh, he just doing. smashed you. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me the, give me, give me that. Guest attack? Give me that attack. He just got he me. He just smashed him. He just said I was James Corden. He just compared me to a, a guy who's worth tens of millions of dollars who has his own show. Damn it. Fuck. Well, that's what Tom's I'm against. Giving you Tom's something against to... successful shows. He doesn't um, like. He doesn't. I'm giving, you, I'm, I'm giving you something to shoot Who for. Who is your favorite comedian? That's a great fucking Great question. question i had it earlier and Holy i just put it in my shit. pocket and now i took it out of my pocket wow. so i want to hear it so uh, he doesn't like it, james corden he doesn't living like or dead um let's just say whatever um i like uh george carlin Hack. lenny bruce Hack. and even going back as far as uh wc fields nigger believe it or not now what about alive today like breathing lewis black okay Okay. I don't have anything else to say about He's that. Name my sorry. least two favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> Zach did not get enough credit on that. <laughs> my two least favorite things: Lewis and Blacks. Zach. Ah, okay, Tom. We got to work on your podcast. We got to get it a little better. Yeah, we got to figure something out. Maybe a hip hop beat. But, but do you have a Patreon that. or how are you making money? Are you just ad rev or? Uh, you may find this a bit surprising, but we are not making any money as of yet. No okay. money. You may you may find that a shocker. But you you've been doing it only a few years, right? And you can build it. We're slowly working on it. Emphasis on who does slowly. it? Who's we? It's you and who else? Uh, who else? Uh, Catch the you, show yeah. is run by uh, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> His assistant manager, uh, the corporate. Would you have right wing people on the show? Would you have an Ann Coulter or someone? We would, yeah. I mean, okay. we if I mean, you know, anybody who you know, no, wants she to, won't. She's not going to come on. Anybody but, who yeah. wants to, that's not us, right? That's not you. There's no. another show called Politipod. That is a uh, ripoff artist. They started that show after uh, we did. We're, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We wait. lean more. We lean more to the left. This Politipod leans to the right. It's a little confusing. Hold on. We're Just very a confused. That's a con this confusing thing right there. There is a more successful show called Politipod. <laughs> with the <laughs> icon, yeah. I think, is Hitler. And you're and not, with the host, Tom Byers. Yeah, and you're still keeping the name Politipod. Mom not, ta mom, mom's tires. <laughs> you, you won't. You he won't. winked at me after that joke. He wants, That's he some knocked. fucking hardcore shit right there. Now, he didn't give a fuck. Do you ever think of changing the name of Politipod? Because there's another show with the same name. Yeah. And they stole from us. They I know, stole from us. That... And who who is who do you think is more real? Us or this guy? Who who do you think is more who do you think is more badass? I mean he's got a Hitler as his profile picture. I'm not hating that. That's not my least favorite thing. And it's not that I like Hitler. I like what he did. Real that real recognizes real. Real recognizes real but boy. We would have we had have Hitler on the show one time. Do you know that? Have you ever have you ever that was the very that was the very first episode I listened to. Have you ever Amazing. tried to yep. have you ever tried to sue these people of Politipod who've stolen you and your essence in the show? Um I'll be honest, they, I rate them slightly below you rate the, them? the the, the come town people yes. and yes. I rate them slightly below the come town people and the, the trash collection people. 
Yeah, what is the deal with trash collection? He doesn't like people. I mean, garbage it's an on its job. I mean, and it's listen, a good those city people job. make a hundred grand a year. Make good money, dude. That you, we need. Yeah, microseconds funny. What's interesting about <laughs> so you're a, you're a liberal, but you really kind of I'm guessing there's a little a little hatred for the working class. Take no, your, I just take have, jobs I just away have... from Mexicans first of yeah. all, and you're trashing trash men, which is ironic. I best. just have a hatred of everybody. Okay, which is very it's a very egalitarian way of living. I think. Okay. That was that. Nice, uh, was that Daenerys Targaryen's brother? Yes, that was her yep. brother. Yep. Yes. You got. I tell you what. You Egalian are. Targaryen. Are you a Game of Thrones fan, Tom? Yeah, are you Egalian a Thrones Targaryen. man? Not really. Not really. I've never watched any of the episodes. I don't. So that would. Be I don't no. really care. Would, yeah. you, would, you don't need to say. Why? Not what really. is it? It's yeah. just a no. Too many fans and makes too much money. Something like that. He just yeah. Hates that that, I, that I, concept I, of <laughs> fucking fans and money he doesn't like. Yeah. It. It's his least favorite thing. I get it. I'm with you. Yeah, no, I, I tweeted about Game of Thrones the other day. You know who retweeted me? Ben Shapiro. Oh, hell yeah. Jew. Do you like Ben? No, you're you're not you don't like would you have him on your show? Um do you, you know want to have an open forum, right? You gotta have, have different Do you think uh, Donald Trump opinions? has any good points? Can you give Donald Trump a compliment? You gotta give him something. Give him something. I think that, I know you don't like him. I think that for a grandfather in his seventies, he's great at using Twitter. <laughs> I I agree. Fuck yeah. Okay. I agree. Yeah. The show you should change the format. We should change the name, and we should change the format. The Politipod is a little. It's political it's, stuff is hack anyway. Guys, yeah, you we gotta, gotta fucking. You gotta. We don't talk about politics on the show for that reason. Do you see what, what if happened? we started talking about politics on the show and it brought the show to a screeching halt? Right. Okay. What if we change the name Stop of the show to the Real Ass Politi Podcast? It's better. It's better, but it's still the problem is the Politipod, the Politi Podcast, the Politipod, Politipod. This is the problem. Like Make America Innate Again. These are they. they it's not a fun thing to say. Like, well, and you might not like them, but Come Town's kind of a fun. It is fun to say. It's just fun. It sounds to like say. a fun place, especially if you're gay. Like it Tim, sounds like a very Tim hears fun that place. Thing. He's like, okay, uh, sign me up. Give me one a one way ticket to Come Town. Sure, right? but but Politipod or Make America Ooh, in Native. I want to run. Give me a bus ticket. Too out of many Politipod. words. Too many words. That sounds like a shit town. Politipod town. You need just one to two words. Actually, Politipod's only one word. I know, but politipod is a lot of syllables. Those are, those are called syllables, yeah. There you I go. I know. Those are called syllables, yeah. Thank you, Tom. But it's still bad. That's the problem. You got to come up with a Syllable. better... That's the girl that uh, Which... Tyrion Lannister was married to. The hook... Yes. Yes, I know. Syllable. Yeah, she was You're, great. You have to just come up with one word or two words that are monosyllabic that's just boom, boom. And if I don't want to? Well, I mean... We're just trying to help. I just want to grow to your we, audience. You have another show out there with the same name. Imagine I started. Imagine I started a show uh, called Westworld, and I was like, "This is my new show." Who are some comedians right now that you don't like? That you just see? Give you me go, one this name. Guy's overrated. Three syllables. What go. do you think? Well, you look at Sebastian Maniscalco. You go, "This guy's talented," a or you go, "I'm not." It's not for me. Tons for of who? syllables. Is Sebastian Maniscalco. Sebastian. You go. You don't know who he is. No. Okay. He's Maniscalco. not. He's he's a young guy. He's new. He's not really doing much. What about? A guy like a, <laughs> uh, a guy like a Chris Rock or a Louis C.K. Um, I liked Louis C.K. before all that, uh, before all the, um, before all that stuff came out about him. Now you don't like him anymore. Yeah, I mean, he he's pretty much. It is pretty much reminds me of just every single scumbag that you meet in this business. So in you're my, saying Louis C.K. is a scumbag. Well, I mean, it was a scumbag. Question. It was a scumbaggy thing that he did. I mean, I I, rec I recognize that he's trying to you know rehabilitate. Let me ask you a question. Do all that good stuff, yeah. What about him reminds you of the scumbags you've met in the business? Just the overall creepiness and wanting to take advantage of That's female comics. People want to. Is, take that, is that what people are trying to do when you when you walk into a room? You feel guys get creepy and they're trying to. Uh, given my, given that I have the build of a woman, yes, I am okay. very. Okay. You know. Do you think there should be a is. road to redemption for someone like Louis, who's you know clearly a you know a comic genius? But you know, I have an idea. What personally, if he, made what some if he completes he every mission in Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, is there a way? Is there like back, is there like a no American Ninja asked. Warrior style ideas. obstacle course that he could do? Is there anything Louis could do to get back in your good graces? You're a good Harvard to Grace. He should he should go on. Uh, he should do every single task in uh, Reddit Redemption, like Lewis said. 
Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Red, yeah, Reddit, Reddit, Red Dead Redemption. Reddit Redemption is well, what's what he's, whatever he said. Reddit Redemption, <laughs> Redemption. 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 Whatever he said. after this show, uh, because there's going to be a lot of people <laughs> that have a lot to say about this. That was a Freudian slip right there. You got Reddit on your mind right now. Are you nervous that you ever go on Reddit or 4chan or 8chan? No. You've never I, gone on Reddit. I. I've never posted anything on Reddit. I lurk. They call them lurkers. The people just read the stuff. Search Tom Myers on Reddit really quick. Do you ever do you are, are, are you dating? Do you have a lady? Do you have a gentleman? What's your uh, are you are you in the dating Both? world? Oh, do you? What are you? Yeah, he's like a he's like fucking he's like bisexual, like eccentric, like fucking David Bowie. He doesn't. He's well, they above. say once you get to a certain level of yeah, success dude. in the entertainment business, you just start fucking. Who cares? I've got the I've got the David Bowie hair thing. going I know, on right dude. Now. Right. Um, no, not dating anyone. Okay. Not dating anyone. No, but you're just crushing a lot of puss. I'm Tom Myers. Oh, so you did an AMA. You did an AMA. You've been on Reddit before you posted. That's not me. Oh, it's not you. Oh, please provide proof that you were the real Tom. I see. Okay. Oh, it was you. Somebody pretended to be. Is this? So this happens a lot. People pretend to be you. Yeah. Let's see. Tom That's not Myers. me. This this isn't you either. Tom underscore Myers. Nope. I'm not on Reddit. Wow. See, I thought that these were you right now. Nope. This all on come down. Look, no, no, this is actually your profile. Look. Tom Myers is a comedian who tackles any subject, whether the topic is current events, social or political issues, or a topic other comedians would not even approach. Tom is not afraid to make you laugh about using a straight talking, no holds barred manner. In addition to being a comedian, Tom is an actor, sports PA announcer. That's not a bad bio. And an event MC with several years' experience performing. That's a great bio. Do you it's write that a... or did they write that? I wrote the bio, but they copied it from the from the website. Tom, okay. this is you. Don't lie to us. It's not me. No, I don't. I believe him. You believe that it's somebody else. It's probably somebody else. Hmm. I mean, I, but again, I'm not basing. I'm just basing it on what Tom is saying. Tom, if there's one thing that you could say to Nick Mullen right now, just one thing. Okay, look at the, the with the camera. Which camera would he be looking at? You should look at one of them. That one. That one right there. All right. If there's one thing you could say to Nick Mullen right now, if I zoom in on Tom a little bit, can we make it just about him for a second, Shannon? Jesus Christ. Got fucking Tim watching Tim breathe oh. hard. Oh, I'm not breathing. I'm breathing pretty. <laughs> I said I'm watching you breathe hard. I'm, not I'm breathing it. no harder You've, than Stafford. Your your mic diction is fucking incredible lately. What is that? Oh my! Just the way yeah, I, you just fuck. He's you. getting turned on by your breathing. Stop it. Nice, get really dude. get in there. Zoom in though. I want to fucking really get in there. I want to. This is a moment. His moment to talk to fucking Nick Mo Shannon. When I say zoom, fucking zoom on the guy. Okay, okay that's get enough. In Maybe a little closer. Just really in the eyes. Really, really good. There we go. Maybe even a little closer. I can't go any further. Yeah. Okay. That's what she said. No. Fuck no, dude. No, he was a good joke. Shut the fuck up, Stav. Stav's actually in the booth. We wouldn't let him in the studio, but that's really Stav. I was wondering why it looked cramped in there. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! He is overweight. He's a fat guy. He's overweight. Smash his tooth. What have you thought about his missing tooth? Um, I always wondered how he managed to get into show business. Apparently, whatever was in his mouth that made him, you know, get whatever uh, good things he has going for him right now, probably think, knocked that tooth out. Do you think that's a homophobic <laughs> remark? Like when people say Trump and Putin hook up, do you think as a liberal that it's right to insinuate that homosexual activity is uh, a negative? No, I, that's just my disdain for all people. Including okay. gays, yeah. he would be. Yeah, gay. He hates gays as well. So you're saying you're saying right now you hate trans people and Muslims and straight people. No, no, no. I hate just everybody. One, answer just, one question at a time. One, one question at a time. You hate trans. You hate trans people. I hate everybody. You hate. No, no, no. no, no. Answer I hate question, everybody. Tom. You hate Muslims. I hate everybody. No, no, Tom. One at a time. Just yes or no. Simple yes or no question. You still right. go it's to Sean, yes or no game. You still go to Sean Bowens. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. You hate Muslims. No. You just said you hate everybody except Muslims. Muslims are the only people you like. I, I hate white people a lot more. You hate Why do you white hate people? white yeah. people? Why? You're a white guy. Is it because of what happened to Sean Bollins? It's, uh, yeah, just, it's... What it's do you self, hate about white it's people? A, it's a self thing. Just, just the fact that they do the stuff that they've done in the past. And... But do you think that they're the only people doing bad stuff? I mean... Yes. If you, really? Yep. Have you well, ever met a Puerto Rican? Yeah, I mean, Lewis is Puerto Rican. He's yeah. horrific. I'm a he's, bad person. He's never, he's never done anything bad. Tom, I mm. raped your co-host before the show. But Tom, name one name one bad thing that you've done. Said the n-word four times on today's show. Oh, I didn't hear that. And part. he's only half oh. of an n-word, so he can't. Technically... So he doesn't he doesn't even hear. Oh, color. Even, Some people don't see color. He doesn't even hear. I like. Wasn't that. he going to make a statement? Go, go, yeah. statement right now to Nick Mullen. Go right at the camera. 
So Nick, if you're watching this, uh, I know you love to focus on a bet that I was doing 10 years ago and you love to bring it up and you love to tell your fans to go ahead and um, use it as much as possible uh, in uh, replies on Twitter, Instagram, and such and such. But keep in mind that is during the time when I was a traveling road comic and you were still an open micer. And so look at the two you... of you now. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's on, uh, what's the name of that podcast again? I don't even know. Hold on. He's not done. Something... Let, him, let him keep going. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I don't want to interrupt. So uh, I would... L I would love to go back to that. Uh, if you want to go ahead and focus on, what was that, about 2007, 2008? Actually, it's... It's even more than 10 years ago. Even more than 10 years. So, years. and he... Think right. you want to say to Nick Mullen? Because you um, sort of, you, I, you know, there wasn't much of a point there. You sort of fell off the end. <laughs> can I, can <laughs> I, can I, can I say something? I, I, I ADD'd on it. I ADD'd, please. Yeah. Now go to Tim. the camera? Go to Tim. Can I say something to Adam Friedland, please? <laughs> go ahead. Can I say something to Adam yeah, Friedland? Go. Thank you. Let me tell you something right now. You know that I can do things to you that would make... Wrong camera, Tim. It doesn't matter where I'm looking. You're a beautiful boy, and you're marrying that communist whore. Let me do it right. Let Listen me to do daddy. it right. Listen to daddy. Thank you. That's all. That's all. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. So yeah, I mean, look, dude. I I think the reality is you fucking you you let come town have it today. You, and also, I feel like you're holding back too. You if you really wanted to, you, you were diplomatic. You think maybe you guys will work on a project together in the future? And I understand. Yeah. Would you Would you do a show with them at this point? Because I know we've talked in the past, and you said no, I will not do anything involving Nick Mullen or Come Town. Um, but maybe could you let bygones be bygones? If they said, hey, dude, we want to fucking we're gonna do a Come Town web series. We want you to come and guest on it one day. Would you do something like that? No. Why not? What's the reason? I just never... think maybe it's cutting off your nose to spite your face because you got to go back to the Mexican restaurant, right? Look all those, all those people in the face. What do you mean those people? Well, you know what I mean. What do you mean those people? The white customers we have. What do you have against white people, Lewis? You know what I fucking mean. Do I, Tom? I don't think I fucking know what you're don't talking about. Don't sidestep the question. What are Tom? your plans for the future, Tom? What are you What are you looking to get into in the future? Um, we talked a lot about the past today, but we need to put that to bed. It's done. So you're, it's done. You, we're officially done with Come Town. We're you're done not with even, the past. You, I, but this was also. Did this feel um, at cathartic? all cathartic? Yeah. Oh, very cathartic. Yes. It did, right? It, it did. Did, you, oh, did yes. you get it off your chest? Did you feel like you finally were able to sort of put this to bed? Because they're watching. You know, they're watching yes. right now. I know they're watching. Yeah. I feel like I can go out and get a real job now. Yeah. No, well, you have Fuck, one. Yeah. You, have you, have, you have. You have a, a couple of real jobs. You have a few. Mm -hmm. Nine to fives. Um, so look, here's the thing. We're going to take some callers. 573 Gas Line. 573 Gas Line is the phone number. If you guys want to ask any questions for Tim Dillon, Tom Myers, or anybody, uh, you can call in at any time now. Harrington will be answering the phone calls. Uh, well, I mean, we've got a couple other things to talk about on today's show. We're, we're going to definitely. Alabama just made it illegal for women to have abortions. Tom, Tom let's stop the murder. Am I right? Come on, man. They're people. As soon as you detect the heartbeat, they're people. They're babies, and they should be alive. It's also the 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 people least, uh, least correct. Whatever you're gonna say, I you're correct. The people that the, should that be are killed the least. least. <laughs> yes, babies. Let's not kill babies. The most innocent of all. You're in favor of killing people, but these people. Uh, well, now let me ask you a question, do? Tom. Where do you stand on this issue of abortion? You're a political man, right? I feel that as a man, as someone of not of the childbearing gender, I don't feel as though I have any right to I tell agree. a woman who... Uh, I also think that women should say to men's issues, like fucking banking and... Voting. The roads, how <laughs> elevators work. <laughs> <laughs> women so, shouldn't... So Tom, you're saying women shouldn't be able to use elevators. I agree. You're saying that the, this abortion ban is wrong. Correct. Okay. The Alabama Senate. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see what. I guess you would out. you would know more than an entire state's uh, justice system. Have you ever paid for a lady to terminate a pregnancy? It wasn't the justice system. That was the legislature. You don't know anything about this stuff, Tom. This is what I do for a living. This, he's oh, a political excuse analyst. me. Yeah, excuse maybe me. You don't, you're, you're have you ever at, paid? You're the you're the you're the tw you're already have the you ever you're already the nominee for the American Nihilist Party have for you ever president of the United States in 2020. Have you, like you ever thought of having a baby? Back. Have you ever held a baby in your hands? Like a baby, like a warm baby, why would you kill that baby? Give me a reason. Because give me five reasons. Because that baby, baby could be the that, that baby could be the next Nick Mullen. 
Interesting. Oh, wow. So you think Nick Mullen deserves death? So you're saying it's okay to abort autistic babies? So you're saying the that's actually I believe in that. Okay. That actually yeah. one thing I can stand with you on. Mm-hmm. Second, that baby could grow up to be the next Nick Mullen. Right. You said that one already. No, I didn't. Third, that baby could, be, could grow up to be the next Nick Mullen. This is like being John Malkovich, except they, <laughs> they pulled money out of production. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a very interesting... Four, <laughs> that baby could grow up to be the next Nick Mullen. How many are on this list? And five... Blacks aren't people. I hate the noise they make on airplanes. Okay. That's true. Okay. It's a comedic rule of five. War with Iran. <laughs> yes. Go, um, or no. Do we have a caller? Do we have a caller? Uh, all right, you're on the Real Ass Podcast. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's a mime. One sec, sorry. Oh, the, the phones are ringing off the hooks. In there. It's a mime. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? You didn't put it through, you dumb fucking asshole. I assholes. mean, uh, the producer's It's here. crazy. It's fucking crazy. If Rogan had them, he'd break their necks on I know. screen. You on had, cam. You have not one job, but what? Four jobs, and you can't do it right. Okay, do we have somebody on the line now? Or did you guys not figure out how to take these calls? One second, hold on. The phones are just ringing off like crazy. Tom, crazy. they want to talk to you. This is a big fucking There's deal. There's people right out there that probably like the abortion ban, I would imagine. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Louis J, Tom in Philly. What's up, brother? What's up, Tommy boy? Philadelphia at Yo. the house. How you feeling, baby? What do you got to ask? Awesome. This is the greatest show I've ever seen, Louis. Oh, thanks, man. Ultimately, though, you guys transitioned off that little fag's sexuality. Would he, my question for Tom is, Ooh, t- Tim? Would, he let, would he let Tim fuck him in the ass? That is true. We didn't finish. We didn't get the answer. Tom from that. Philly has some good ideas. <laughs> yeah, thank you I'm very much. i up, Tim. Thank you very much, Tommy. Yo, that cheesesteak's trash, though. Bad Mm -hmm. sandwich. Keep going, Uh, sir. You're going to the wrong place, Tim. Where do you got to go, first of all, Tom? Where's the place to go? Yeah, where do you Uh, go? John's Roast Pork. John's Roast Pork is the only place to go. It's in South Philly. It's sort of by the stadiums. It's giant, fat sandwiches. It's okay. awesome. You know what? What's All right. right. I'm going to try it. you went to a fucking lunch thing the other day. It kind of bothers me. Wait, I'm what? one of your more successful what friends. Thing? People don't realize it because I dress like a scrub, yeah. but I'm doing pretty good, okay? What lunch thing did I go to? Schultz and fucking Giannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a nice dinner. restaurant. We had a nice dinner. I'm just saying, we you don't nice invite dinner. me to nice dinners. Why don't we go to some fucking we all just, nice We were doing today. a show at Gotham. Dave Smith, how you doing, my brother? Um, <laughs> okay, so Tom is straight or gay? That's the question, right? He's transitioning to his more Are you straight or gay, Tom? Straight. You're okay. straight. What's the last straight time you man. fucked? I, I don't believe that. To, why, why are you Tom, saying that, Tom? Tom and Philly, because Tom's no Toms. That's actually a thing in the world. Oh, interesting. Tom's no Toms. So, Tom, thank you very much, Tom from Philly. You can hang up on him now. Uh, you guys rule. Why do you... Uh, <laughs> Tom's, Tom's no Toms. Tom's. Why do you think that you're straight? Because I am. Okay. Have you, sorry, ever hooked up, a... have you ever hooked up with a man? No. So you don't know. Can't you not have no idea. It. Right. No, but I know I know what I look like, and I just presume that most men look as grotesque as me. That is so. not true. No, no, that no. Is you not are true. the there's, lower there's, rung. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good-looking <laughs> of men. men. I will say that. Have you ever looked at like a TV show or a movie? <laughs> Have you ever literally looked at any sign that's ever been Just made? Just walk around New York. You're walking around Sean Bolins. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're the top 10% of Sean Bolins, but... Let's get another call. Yeah, get another call. 573 Gas Line. If you want to call in live here on the Real Ass Podcast. Also, I'll take a moment really quick before we get our next caller on. If you love the show, every episode we've ever done available on demand at gasdigitalnetwork.com. Use the promo code RAP. Get 14 day free trial. Have access to this show. 20 other incredible shows here on the Gas Digital Network, including Legion of Skanks. Tim Dillon's going to hell. Believe you me. Zach Amico's Midnight Spook Show and more. Pre release, uncensored, live chat. All that good shit. Shannon, pull some questions from the live chat, too. Top two or three questions from the live chat. We're going to really get to know our guests today. Uh, 573 Gasline, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, uh, this is Cheeto Man, and uh, I'm from Connecticut, a bit north of Harvard Grass. I have a question for Tom. All right, sweet. Go, dude. Thanks, Cheeto Man. Uh, hey, Tom. Uh, I'm getting into comedy, but I keep getting kicked out of clubs. I've gotten kicked out of 109 clubs. Do you think it's everyone else's fault, or is it mine? Is it something I'm doing, maybe? Thanks. Um, I think it might have something to do with your phone, because I couldn't understand a fucking word. 
Oh, he said that. Oh, like, he's, wait, been, wait, 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 wait. he's been kicked out of 109 clubs. Yeah, and he um, wants to know if he's doing something his wrong. Fault. You have to be kicked out of 120, so he needs to be, be kicked out of 11 more clubs. How and many clubs? That's the rule of 120. How many? Wait a minute. What is this? Is that, it seems inside. Like, is this, this is an inside thing? Well, the re, re, so I, I haven't really been kicked out. I haven't really been kicked out of any. Like, I've been asked not to come back to, like, a few. 109? Not 109. How many? How many clubs have you been asked to not come back to? Probably. I, I could probably count them the number of uh, fingers on one hand, probably. Oh, so five. Five. Yeah, five. Yeah. Well, it depends. In Zach's family, or six. Less. Five, sometimes. Yeah. five. Five clubs have said we would like you to not. Good thing he didn't say turn. turn. <laughs> okay. That's not horrible. I mean, kicked out, but they said specifically don't come back. Why what was the reason? Too hardcore. Um, there were some instances where I, because I used to do this thing in my act where hardcore, I would just parkour. Fuck yeah. I would just berate audience members. So like if, they, if they didn't like what I was saying, but sometimes that's, and a few of them, a few of the clubs took exception to that. But sometimes and, if you do that in a funny way, the audience likes it; they laugh. Yeah, you just trash the audience yeah. a little bit. It's, it's, I do it all the time. I, I every we always time, do it. It's it's part of kind of it's part of my act. You know, you do a little crowd work, but I always trash them. I go after them. So what happened? Were they not laughing when you were trashing them? Well, some of the they seem to enjoy it, I think. But then this is when the I club was, owners come in; they ruin the fun. Those bastards. Yeah. And th this was during my, my drinking days. Oh, so boy. I haven't, you know. I've, once so it's, I've, been, it's been seven and a half years since the club is. Do you not... just get up there with a stomach full of fucking whiskey and crab bisque and start letting them have it? Yeah, you didn't give a shit. I couldn't even afford the crab bisque at the time. Fuck it. You went so with So I was just. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Whiskey, Five, seven, whiskey and, uh, and uh, cheap beer. Gasline, if you want any comedy tips from Tom Myers. Tom Myers will give you tips right comedy now. Not tips. just comedy tips, life tips. If you want to learn how to be a fucking real ass dude. Tom's when's the, last, when's the last time he got laid? I wanted to know that. Uh, 2012. Whoa. 2012 is the last time I he haven't, got laid? I haven't, I haven't been on a date since Tom, then. Tom, lie. You just got to like lie. Nobody's well, gonna, nobody's seven gonna years, but this. you can get, you can pay for sex. That's probably a good move. Yeah, it's not that bad. There's nothing wrong with that. So you haven't been on a date, but we should get you laid. Is there any female listeners out there that would fuck Tom Myers for the story? Call up. 573 Gasline. Uh, you're on the line. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Louis. This is uh, Stevie in Seattle. How are you, man? What's up, baby boy? Love your city. Love your fucking Seattle dogs, kid. My favorite Tom. Have you, Wait, had, uh, you. Have you had a Seattle dog? What's on a Seattle dog? It's a long fucking like Italian sausage hot dog. Three years of a failed bassist. Come on! <laughs> and uh, it's on like a, almost like an Italian style bun, like yeah. a, a thicker bun. Yeah, I'll fuck with that, yeah. With uh, this work, it's crazy. It has fucking mayonnaise and onions. All right, I'm not into that now. Nigga, trust what, me. What, what's the uh, what's it what's it what's it doing over there? No, it's cream cheese, Lewis. Oh, that's, that's what the, I meant. Uh, I'm sorry. Cream cheese. cream cheese. It's fucking okay, harder. I'm stupid. Cream cheese and onions. I just lost all respect for you because you didn't get the cream cheese. Get part your correct. fucking finger out of my face, Tom. I'm you know I know you're out alphaing me at all times, <laughs> but I do not appreciate the physical stuff. Okay, he I gets... get a little fucking. So edgy. Seattle, what's your question for Tommy? Or do you have? <laughs> yeah, so I was calling in. You guys, um, you know, Tom had kind of addressed the um, the bong bonk hit transplant controversy that's what's gone on in the past. Controversy. And, well, that's um, the, that's the thing. Like, you guys are you guys are referring to the joke a lot, and I just was wondering if he would actually just do the joke. It's a lot of you know. It's really not a bad joke. I've heard the joke before. It's not the worst joke. What's right. the joke? It's a really good joke. It's, it's a, a joke, joke about he's in a convenience store. Set it up. Yes. You're uh, in a store. No, let's hear Tom do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You just, you know, this is the best question of the day so far. You just want a real ass podcast mug. Put him on hold. Get him a fucking real ass podcast mug from the and brand then get new. Get his address and then swat him. Brand new podcast merch dot com. Grab all of your podcast merch. Podcast merch dot com for my show and a bunch of other shows. Not just Gas Digital. This is across the board, baby boys. Tuesdays with stories. I'm wearing my Shane Gillis, uh, Matt and Shane Secret Podcast shirt right now. Lots of amazing brands coming you're to all about the support com. yeah now it's all m making money off my friends anyway um so what is the set up a joke bong hit tramp plant well it's been a while since i've done the bit so it's it's gonna sound really horrible i know something horrible coming out of me imagine that right no way no way i don't believe it so the joke is i'm in a convenience store waiting in line someone puts uh pretend you're at a club right now we're an audience you, do, you got a microphone in front of you. Don't just say the joke is, you know, literally we say the joke. We look like people that go to a comedy club. Yeah, we are Sean Boland's fucking We're sitting there, second row, if there are rows. 
Zach literally looks like the person who was in the second row on that Sean Boland show. So, so he, is, he is helping me. Focus on him and deliver it. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, I go into a convenience store, and the guy puts on the counter, I think, a dozen donuts, a uh, one-gallon jug of the Cheapo brand fruit punch, um, a nasty should old say the brand. brown I feel like you banana. Can, uh, Let him do it. But it, be more, if you get more specific, it would be funny. If he said Fago, it would be a funnier way to tell the joke. But anyway, go. Uh, no, if they're not paying me to say it, I'm not saying it. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you all the money in Shannon's Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> Deal. Go ahead, go say it. Um, and, uh, so, and a nasty old rotten brown stinking banana. And, uh, the guy says to the clerk, uh, I just, ha- my girlfriend just had an operation. She can only eat certain things. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, right. What did this guy, what did she have? A bong hit transplant. It was a it was a joke I wrote a long time ago. It was stupid. It got laughs, and you know, I eventually like most jokes. I got tired of telling it, and then did it I make its way onto one of the albums? I don't was, know. Was I don't, it on Make I don't America Innate so. again or Words of Mass? It may it may be on Pitchforks, but I don't. Gotcha. I don't. I like how it calls it Pitchforks. Now explain to me the thinking behind the joke because you see all of this. So it's like it's all this unhealthy food, and then you're right. like. You know, this guy basically saying she can only eat certain foods after an operation. Now, I'm all with you on the premise. Right. And then you go, what did she have? A bong hit. It's a punchline. You're right. Transplant. You're right. It's not the premise. The punchline is the issue. Yeah. That's the only issue with the joke. Everything right. else is actually really the good. The premise is kind of funny. I love the premise. The premise is not bad. The punchline he is He could have said a... That's, a, the, that's a, the next a album. Cheapo just type an album of, full of premises. A cheapo type of soda. Well, oh, let's just spitball it here. You go like, oh, this, 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 this guy puts all this disgusting food. He's got fucking M&Ms and Cheetos. and See, that's my... Where I would go, what does a dirty banana have to and do any, with... And any, anything involving food, Zach is in on it. Yes, of course. Oh, shit, so this guy puts... Oh, in your course. fucking fat yeah. face! <laughs> in your face! No one's safe! But what 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 does a dirty banana have to do with high people? Because high people just eat anything. Okay, well that's not true. You're so you're trying to say you're. I know what's going on. He's being racist. I'm I'm generalizing. He's saying brown people. But are the so ones who do the drugs. bong hit trans. But the only problem with that is that it doesn't it does it doesn't make sense. The punch. Yeah, bong once hit. you start to break down the punchline, and here's what you don't want it, people doing yeah. is when when you tell a punchline, you don't want people to not laugh and think about why they're not laughing. Right, and that's what I think this punchline does. It makes yeah. people want to leave the club. Yeah, they go, no, that's not right. This yeah, is an album Something's paper. wrong. They go, yeah. something is wrong here, and I should leave and, and, and it's not, an never come back. It's an uncomfortable feeling. It's not the move. So it wasn't, what could have been a better punchline instead of bong hit transplant? Uh, so it's got, a, it, let's say it's a transplant, right? It, some kind of operation, yeah. Some kind of operation. What, did she get her lungs replaced with the bong? That could have worked. Okay, well that. That's, what does she have her lungs replaced with bongs? That's better than bong hit transplant. Yeah, I'm spitballing, man. I would have been like, I would have been like, listen, it's like, what the fuck, you know? Well, what? I, ha- I haven't done the bit in ten years, so clearly I stopped liking it. We could it. bring it back. What kind of operation did this bitch have? It could have went hard. Yeah, you know, like ah, oh, she fucking get raped. I bet I would have liked it. <laughs> that could that could be on your next special. I give you permission to use. I retired that one. from comedy. I'm just trying to get a job at a chili. My, my girlfriend just had an operation. She fill, could only she could fill, only eat fill certain out an application. Things. Fill out an application. I'll, I'll interview you. I'll try. What 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 did what did, what did she have her uh, her lower intestine replaced with a Mexican? But then you'd have to have Mexican foods. That makes it less. It, it doesn't make sense, but it's funnier. It's funnier. It's funnier. It's funnier. A couple funny words what, in there. Mac, you have a lower test replaced with a Mexican. Remember, like, Patrice said how like like Buick is a funnier word than Oldsmobile. Yeah, Mexican's funnier word than bong hit transplant. Right, or or like or any other word. Yeah. What did, what did she ever a lower test replaced with a malnourished you know child? I don't know. Like what. It, what, what, she just had a transfer. What kind of transfer? My, you know, my go-to punchline is what did, what did she have? What did she have her test replaced with family court? These are all dumb. No, my go- dumb, you, but... you know, it's, it's just a stock punchline I could just use. Yeah, oh yeah, female yeah. circumcision. So, just throw it in. Female circumcision. Let if me you tell you right get now, female yes, circumcision. Into he's that right. Bit, it would he's fucking right. crush. Let's try it with Guaranteed. female circumcision. Go, Tammy. Uh, I walked into this grocery store the other day. I see this guy. He's got uh, oh, Cheetos and M&M's. He's got the Cheapo brand fruit punch. He's got a dirty banana. <laughs> really dirty banana. And I, and, <laughs> filthy, and banana. filthy banana. And then I, and then he says ass, to the clerk, he goes, my wife just had an operation. She can only eat certain foods. And I said, an operation? 
What? Was she... Would she have a clitorectomy? Was she <laughs> circumcised? Clitorectomy is a fucking they, great they, word. Did they oh, hack oh, off oh, her oh. clit? Did they hack off her clit? Is that why you're buying a dirty banana? This is why. <laughs> why sense. Clit was hacked off. <laughs> but again, if you said that, it would be funny. This is why he gets the gigs dressing up as Meghan McCain. It's true. Fuck yeah. Honey, that's got a, that. got a million views. I know you're shitting on that. It's got a million views. Um, let's go to an- another caller. We got we to wrap the show in a little while. We had all these segments planned, but this is just too good. I, I like the callers right now. 573 Gas Line. Uh, if you want to talk to Tim Dillon or Tom Myers, any questions uh, for any of our guests today, you're welcome. Go ahead. You're on the, you're on the podcast. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's another mime. Hello. Hello. We can hear you breathing. Did, did we ever find out what "Make America Innate Again" means? No. Thanks. We didn't. Screen Tom. these calls, Harrington. Screen the fucking calls. You can screen. You can pick them up and go. What's your call? What's your question? And then when they don't have a good question for the fucking mayor of fucking Funnyville, Tom Myers, you piece of shit, you're disrespecting our guest right now. I'm sorry, Tom. The top of comedy in Harry Grace, Maryland. How the about king this of comedy bitch? In I know Grace. this bitch who had a clitorectomy. This is the urban version. I know this bitch who had a clitorectomy. <laughs> Give me the punchline first. And she be eating dirty bananas. Dirty bananas. That's not bad. Oh. That's not bad. Work backwards into it. I like is it. dirty is banana supposed to be a euphemism for the penis, Tim? Is that what you're saying? No, no. Oh. I was just using your joke because the guy put the banana on the thing. Yeah. Oh, you're 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 coattailing off of me. That's man. right. You're uh, trying to bag me, dude. Let's uh, you know what? Fuck it. While we're waiting for another caller or two, if they want to call, that's fine. Let's just do one actual segment that we normally do on the show because it's really been all focused on yeah. Tom Myers. I didn't realize how deep we were going to get into this. It was like an um, episode of Unmasked. Yeah, it was fucking incredible. It was wild. Um, let's uh, let's do this scam that you. Yeah. Let's get a couple scams that going. Yeah. I'm a very desperate man, and I live with my mother. Scam that. You. Is that what a rabbi sounds like before he orgasms? Yeah. Okay. I fucking nailed it, dude. So um, we have our fans write in the best scams. Little simple, easy to pull off scams, and then give away one lucky winner, a Scam That You t-shirt. Show that Scam That You t-shirt. It's my really favorite um, segment. Yeah, it's great. These are great scams all the time. We've been getting really good ones lately as well. It's, it, it's sort of a resurgence. We had a bunch of shitty scams for a while. If you want to join the comment, there it is. Scam that Jew. Tom, you could uh, you could chime in at any time as well. If you have a good scam, because you work on the inside of a restaurant, so you might be able right. to figure out a way that people get away with shit. Yeah. That's the way. Sending that, food back. That's the best way. So, you ever pluck a lock? And put, put, if, if I'm in your restaurant, can I take some of my hair out and just throw it on the burrito? Three quarters into eating it, and then will you take it back? You got to be a little more original than that. Okay. Heron, so everybody Heron, does that. Heron, uh, what about if it's pubic hair? Harrington Ooh, sent me a, that uh, might, a that story a where that was really interesting that inspired this week's scam that Jew. It was a guy, I think this is in England, and this would work. And one, another one was sent in recently. No, 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 I'm sorry. Paul Verzi told us one that was very similar. But this guy was arrested in England because he... The guy was arrested in England. He was arrested. Let me tell you how to... Let me tell you how to do it. Sit down. I was there with Bill Burr. And then the guy said, <laughs> the guy said, dude, do a podcast. He said, I do do a podcast. And then he got arrested in England. And then we performed for a stadium of 8 billion people. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I just realized, you know, I love my kids. <laughs> I just performed for. There was about, and I'm not going to exaggerate. You know me, I don't, I don't exaggerate. About 30 billion people. <clears throat> In the stadium. <laughs> all right, go on. So what happened? <laughs> but then the look in my daughter's eyes made it all worth it. Uh, so this guy in England, he would dress up in a suit. Hello. Show, hello. hello this is my... I'm in a suit, love. <laughs> that was the scam. And he would show up at KFC, and he would act like he was from corporate, and he has to do like a, a food inspection service. I'm doing this service. tomorrow. Dude, and he would show up and just get buckets of chicken and be like, yeah, I got to take this back to headquarters. Did you that say this was funny. England? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think you're on the wrong continent. What do you Am mean? I? Uh, look at the universe. The, they showed the name of the universe. Doesn't sound English. Uh, KwaZulu Natal. Oh, every restaurant's KFC there. <laughs> it's like Starbucks in Africa. It's I, am just from, all... I am from Copland. <laughs> <laughs> I must try all of the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am ah, the okay. inspector now. Um, no, so I get maybe it was, Af- it was Africa. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah, Harrington, what? 
Uh, this guy was actually balling. He would have his friend drive up in a limo, and he would get out in a suit, and then immediately walk into the back and start, you know, checking things off, and then just take all you don't the even chicken. Get the limo. I love all of this to just get chicken. Like <laughs> literally, how expensive could chicken be in Africa? Like, so the scam is you run a limo. Yeah. Well, in Africa, I feel like they live in limos part time, probably like some old broken down limo. That is like we could drive this over to the KFC and get dinner for our whole village. Um, it's sadder because it's in Africa, and also I feel like they also probably have spe- specific menu items. You know, you do that. You I go bet to, like, they're good. You go to Canada and yeah. it'll have poutine and McDonald's I menu. Know. I bet. I bet South Africa's got a, some probably interesting. Uh, you know, just fried uh, fried snake women clits. I must uh, try the fried clits. I am here from corporate. Uh, please. Please give me all of the fried clits to try. Let's, uh... These bananas are very dirty. These are the dirtiest bananas I've ever seen. (laughs) Dirty banana clits. What type of person would have a banana that is so dirty? Dirty Possibly someone that had a bomb, a bong hit transplant. That is not funny in any language you say. My wife just had an operation. She's only eaten certain things. I'm like, this guy's wife just had an operation. What, what, what does she have, a clitorectomy? <laughs> That's great. I, I know the punchline. What, it makes me laugh every time. What did you chop off her clit? Yeah, fucking dumb bitch with her big old clit. You have a clitor... It's like a, it's like a, a big toe hanging off her pussy. Chop it off. Whoosh. That guy in the scam was actually the guy who wrote the joke for me, so Hell that's yeah. why I feel ripped off. Fair enough. Is there a phone call? Okay, fine. We'll do another phone call before we finish our scam at you. Go ahead, go. What? Harrington, what? He's on? I hate you. Real Life Podcast, you're Harrington. on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yo, can you hear me? What up, son? What's up, doggy? What's up, I want to ask if uh, Tom Myers has any uh, crypto Nazi followers. All right, sweet thing. Good question. Wait, can you define crypto Nazi? Like they're they're fans <laughs> of Tales from the Crypt, and they're also in the Hitler Youth part time. Is that what he means? That's Hell just yeah, me. Dude. You're talking about well, me. That was actually a good joke. <laughs> Tom actually Maybe, nailed the fucking. But uh, joke the guy right who called earlier talking about 109 clubs he was kicked out of was referring, you know, Jews kicked out of 109 countries, you know, stuff like that. You see a lot of that in the Comtown fans. I wonder if uh, Tom Myers had something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, dude. I totally missed that. that, that was what was the question? I literally thought Tom was kicked out of 109 yeah. o'clock. I, I don't even know what happened. I have no idea what was going on there, but I like the fact that they are Trolling engaged. and engaged. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, Tom, um, whatever his question was, go ahead. The Holocaust, Tom. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another good idea, bad idea, Tom. What do we think? <laughs> that was the original scam. Uh, getting, <laughs> yeah. getting kicked out of 109 clubs, bad idea. Okay. Oh, 109 countries. I get it. Interesting. I should have thought that. All right. Crypto Nazis. Oh, I get it. I the get Jews it. Jews were kicked out of 109 yeah. gotcha. countries. Interesting. Yeah. And then he just admitted that he's been kicked out of a bunch of clubs for no reason. Right. He just came out with that. He's like, yeah, five clubs have told me to leave. Also, I'm very bad at crowd work. He's like, five clubs have said not to come back. Uh, they didn't even know that. They had no He's idea. like, and that's not a Talmudic conspiracy. It's literally just five managers said, don't ever show your there face. There are seven clubs in the greater Baltimore area. To Zanies, we will call the police. <laughs> that is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Uh, all right, let's get these scams before we wrap this one up, Shannon. Give me three good ones. Three fucking solid scams. I want to give away a t-shirt today. All right, I'm really trying here. This one's from Patrick. Uh, this is a little scam. I work at Whole Foods, Foods, and we have a policy that we can sample items to customers for free if the item is less than twenty dollars. Sorry, so uh, so people can try a product. Good customer service, whatever. At my store, all we do is mark a line through the barcode and sign our name. Sometimes I write a I write sample on the item too. So uh, the scam is instead of Lewis putting a naked juice under his arm, just take a sharpie, put a line through the barcode, and scribble the name of a random employee. At the checkout, uh, the item shouldn't ring up, and if the cash uh, the cashier does see the signature, uh, they'll void the item and give it to you for free. Especially at a big Whole Foods like the one in New York City. So what? Why would who? In what case would they be voiding out a customer's? Because thing? it seems as if um, it was given to them by an employee. Because our employees can put a line through something mm. to give to a customer. I feel like that's a big risk. I don't think that's going to work. I feel like you, you get a lazy employee, find that'll work. But I, I feel like that's going to have probably a 50% success ratio at best. Don't love it. You are in a pedantic mood today. You know that? Don't you use words. I don't know what they are. Shannon. Yes. 
Go Ready? ahead. Okay, this is not a good scam. This is from no, Mike. It's bad. I heard on the scam. Uh, I heard a scam on the show recently about creating a gift registry and trying to get a few free items from this store. And I have one that's more guaranteed to work. My fiance and I are getting married in August, and we have a gift registry with Bed Bath and Beyond. It's free to set up registry, and they have an option for you to buy any of the items that weren't purchased by guests for twenty percent off after the date of the event. Ooh! So an easy scam is to make the registry for a fake event, set the uh, event a few days away, so you don't have to wait a long time. Then once the date comes, you get twenty percent off. Whatever Automatically you want. off yeah. of everything. Yep. Ooh, that's so, a fucking good scam right there. That is saving a dollar for every five dollars. You gotta forget the twenty percent off doesn't sound great until you start to break it down to dollars and cents. You so, know. So what was this again? It was so you with uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Their registry is whatever isn't purchased off your registry by friends and family members. They will offer it to you for twenty percent off after the event's over. Not a bad move, but it's a very specific group of people. It's got to be people getting married. No, 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 no. Oh, no? You, you, can say, you can just you say you can just say you're getting married. married. Good point. So it, when you do your big, like I just did a big Target fucking shopping trip, like a fucking loser. Why? Groceries. No, I don't do groceries at Target. I don't do, I, I do like house goods, household mm. goods. So it'll be like shaving cream and razors and fucking garbage bags. And I use Target. Dollar Shave Club. Do you? You should. Yeah. Super cheap. They're not my sponsors anymore. I don't fucking use people. I won't, I will not use products it's unless they're my sponsors. I, I would rather go to the big, I'd give it to the man instead. Okay. Yeah, uh, but that's not a bad scam. I liked it. It's not bad. Shannon, give me another one. Give me something okay, else. Here's the last one. Uh, maybe not great. This is from James. Uh, so my scam is a fam- family-friendly scam. Disneyland scam. Download the Disney. This is for my son. <laughs> Download the Disney app. Try <laughs> so to get two Disney trips for free. Have your mom start dating a black guy. At Epcot. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, download the Disney app while at the park. I'm going app. to Disneyland by the way. Disney World, July Fourth weekend with my son for the first time. And I'm also doing another vacation like two weeks before that. So it's going to be a very crowded weekend. It's going to be crazy. Go ahead. Uh, Well, at the park, the app will tell you every time a ride is broken broken down. Make a note of the time. Once the ride comes back into action, you just go to the attendant and say, I was in line, insert time o'clock when it broke down. And the person working in line said, if I come back later, I could jump to the front of the line. Disney staff turns over so often during the day, they will always let you through. I don't believe that. It says not every ride breaks down. That's not true. (laughs) But a lot of rides break down. You can repeat the scam. That will not. A terrible scam. It's also who cares. That's your fucking scam. Dude, they will not let you. I guarantee you can go on two rides for the entire week that bro- that happen to break right. down. You the get big rides don't really break. I don't fast think. pass Maybe for I'm two wrong. shitty fucking rides. Suck yeah. a dick. That guy wants to stop listening to the show. <laughs> yeah, he's no longer allowed. Plus, to be you my have fan. to you have to pay to get into Disneyland, so yeah. which is an exorbitant amount. So you're not really saving. The point of the if you had a is child, to save Tom, Tom, do you ever want to have a child? Uh, I can barely take care of a plant, so no. I would not if, if I can't if if I can't take care of a plant, then no, I would not want to take care of a younger version of me. I don't understand though, but a child the plant and a child are different. Um the plant doesn't need as much care oh, and the attention. Child needs more care the than child the plant. needs more care. So it'll be yeah. harder. What about like have you ever thought maybe getting an egg, like in high school where they have you take care of an egg for a couple of weeks to see if you wouldn't break the egg? And then I would probably get hungry and then scramble the damn thing after so you shouldn't have a child. Right, I shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. No we'll more find calls. out a lot about Tom Myers. No, we're good. We'll wrap no. this one up. I gotta, we got to do Legion of Skanks next. Is there different. a winner? Do you want that guy to win? Um, yeah, I guess give it to the 20% guy. You have to give it to somebody, right? Sometimes Somebody's got to get it. Yeah. Okay. That was His a good scam. Right? The 20% off of uh, an entire order at Bed Bath Beyond, if you're purchasing you know, things for your household, you're purchasing a new house. Yeah, fucking... if you move into a new house, new apartment, yeah, you it's schedule a, really... a wedding for right before it. Yeah, it's fucking incredible. That's awesome. a good scam. Harrington saying he has two calls with scams. Two calls with scams. Yeah, let's All do right, that. Go, go. Calls with scams, and then we'll wrap this one up. Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Put them through. Harrington now. Put them through. Put them through. I hate him. He's retarded. What, Harrington? What? You're embarrassing us in front of Tom Myers. What's your name? Where are you calling from? There he is. Hello. Hey. What's up, doggy? Well, what's good, dog? Good. What's your uh, what's your uh, scam, buddy? All right. So uh, what you do is you got to order ahead from uh, Panera, and then uh, after you get your meal, you save your receipt, and then just call the complaint hotline and say that uh, they forgot the they'll they'll mail you a coupon for a free meal, no problem. You forgot the what? You order ahead from Panera, and you say they forgot. Yeah, the like what? from Panera. Oh, so like you order a salad with chicken and just tell them that uh, they forgot the chicken when you got home. 
So yeah. if if you and get if meal. you get head in Panera, I, I don't understand what this caller is saying. You got it. You got it. No, you got it, Tom. Oh, That's okay. what it yeah. is. So I get it. So yeah, Panera Bread. Basically, if you call corporate and say, "Hey, they fucked up my order," their policy is just send this guy a coupon, no questions asked. They're not going to go and check it out. That's not yeah. bad. It's not bad. We got to. It's not bad. They yeah, don't even bigger. think twice. We got to think bigger. Yeah, but you know, in that case, what if I go case, to Panera and put a gun in the woman's mouth who's working behind the register and say, "Give me your fucking," you know, we got to think bigger. Yeah. What about um? Could you technically just go to Panera, grab any receipt? And then call, and then just start a, a chain of free lunch. And then every time you go in, grab another receipt off the floor out of the garbage, and just have free lunch at Panera Bread, you know, two or three times a week. That's a fucking you get a little bit, you know, it's got to add up. All right, thank you for the call. Oh shit, that's solid. I know. See, I'm making it better. I'm making it better by the minute. That's thank what I you. do. Good. We have another caller with another scam. I love that Lewis heard that scam and went, "How can I also go through the garbage?" <laughs> Is there another scam? Is that what it is? Because we got to wrap this one up. I got another show coming in. Do you think I'm lying about this? Son of a bitches. <laughs> He's grabbing it. God, I hate Hampton. I was supposed to be in charge of the sound effects today, too. And uh, let me not even get into it. Go ahead. Go. What's up, dude? What's your you calling from? Lewis. What up, bitch? What's going on, man? Um, so you said you're going to Orlando to Disney World soon, huh? Yeah. Um, so if you, are you driving or flying? Flying. I'm not a fucking savage. Yeah. Fuck driving. But yo, if you come up to St. Augustine, I can help you scam that Jew. I have an entire list of the attractions here in St. Augustine. What? If you want to come up, like, you know, I can get you into all of them for free. Give so me, what's, a, what's an attraction? Jew, man. I got you. What's an attraction in St. Augustine? An attraction, dog. We're the oldest town. There's in the a retarded woman that'll call you the N-word. Yeah, she was talking about guy, history, bro. Come this, on, this sir. Guy have you ever looked you on a trip to St. Augustine? That's sir, a scam. Have you ever looked at a map of Florida? St. Augustine uh, up here. No, I've never lived Orlando in the state of down there. I have no idea what it looks like. Dude, Tom like. Myers just took a shit in yeah, your dude. mouth. How did that feel? How did that feel? How are you gonna ever be able to fuck your girlfriend again after Tom Myers just smashed you down like a fucking? Every time you're fucking her, Tom Myers is really fucking. <laughs> dude, you need to get an man, asshole I'm transplant. I'm from Maryland, so I'd be honored if Tom Myers smashed my girlfriend. Dude, would you fuck this guy's you girlfriend? Fuck this guy's you girl? haven't fucked Tom. since 2012, Tom. He will let you fuck his girlfriend. This is pretty his, hard. Actually, his girl, your girlfriend, told me that you were getting ready to call in and so she asked me to uh mess with you oh he oh, 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 knows shit. your shit and the show is too big of a laugh we wow. can't end it oh. oh tom 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 don't end the show bro i just got on you Come got on. would you would you tom, would you Augustine. would you seriously let tom uh have sex with your girlfriend she just cheated on me, so yeah, definitely. And honestly, I was gonna ask Tom. I was how, how do you th say, how like, do you think she how... how do you think she told me about that he was calling in? Oh! oh! What, oh man, who did she cheat on you with? Um, a large black man. No. who has a bigger penis than me. No, she cheated on you with a black guy. Zach already hates yeah, this dude. guy. Now. Oh, I'm how big? Myself. How big are you? How many um, inches hurts. are you? Yeah, but it's not even me, and it hurts. How big? How big is yeah. your penis? I'm a, I'm a casual six, man. Okay, but the black guy had a lot better. No, dude. Honestly, apparently he was a casual six two. I was there watching. Oh, so you're cut. He's okay. being cut. I got he's it. Being, I, we got it. All right, Very dude. Funny. Thank you for calling, my brother. No, I wasn't there watching. I'm ashamed. But that being said, <laughs> now that I hear Tom Myers is uh, a massive six three, I might have to jump in on that trend. Hell yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Tom Myers just a bit like a brick shit house as well. You guys can't see it on camera. Because they, you know, the camera takes away thirty or forty pounds. They say and muscle and yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and, and um, frame. But he's fucking enamel like, in your teeth, doggy. This guy's a fucking Air. broken brick shit. Hey, house. Tommy boy. Yes. You're looking Hello? mighty fine, brother. You look better than Steve Buscemi. So you're killing it. Oh hell yeah! That's it, man. Thank that's you very the, much. That's the also yo. Lewis, that's the best compliment I've had to, all uh, week. Come down to Florida. I'll be there, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate the call. Thank you so much for listening. Right, we got to wrap this one up. He this is going down show. to Florida. He said it like down. five times already today. He's, he is going fuck down. Fuck this guy, Tom. I'm with you, man. Fuck this guy. That fucking doesn't know how to call. Doesn't even know how to ask a fucking proper question. Doggy. Thank you so much, Tom, much for coming to the show. Well, thanks for having me very on. Very fucking hardcore. Very badass. Very real ass. You yeah. Just gave, really gave it to Nick Mullen and team. Calm down. Really swung his cock around. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, you're welcome to come back on the show whenever you want to come in. I know you came from Maryland specifically, um, but hopefully we'll be back on soon. Where can people find you and your podcast, Politipod, and 
Uh, we have a SoundCloud page, and the link to Politipod is on TomMyers.us. Beautiful. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to The Real Ass Podcast. We will be back on Friday with another two white guests. Goodbye. <laughs>